Is it working? Is is it working? Is it working? Is is it working? We will find out in about a minute when the cat when the chat catches up to this. I see I see Owen Jones in chat, but I don't know if that was from earlier or from like recent. It's what do I see in the chat? Let's pull up the chat in a separate window so maybe I see better. Ooh, ooh, people are in the chat. Are you in the chat now? Is Christine M in the chat? Is Owen Jones in the chat right now? If so, hi! Welcome! Um, this is always the awkward one minute where I just talk to myself and wait for the chat to catch up. Um, oh, Abby, Abby's here, how are you doing? Hello! Donald Bonner, you see me? I see you! <laughs> Actually got my notifications, yay! That's what we want, awesome! Amiga Man's here, hello! Um, Bronx, looks like we're getting started. Hello, yes, we are getting started. New member emoji. <gasps> Ooh, shiny. That's the first time. So these are the people with a little cake next to their name are the people that have like been members for two months now. That's very exciting. They get a little piece of cake. How excited. Okay, that's really cool. I hadn't even realized that it's been a month. Awesome, thank you so much. Hello, the woodshop teacher. How are you doing? Briggs of the Dead. Ooh, cool username. Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? Um, I have cake, but no tea now. No tea, no tea. But a tea is found in the Discord. Um, Jay Phipps, how are you doing? Hello. Um, as you saw from my comment, I loved the video and was so excited for you to get this. <laughs> Yes, um, it was really, really fun to pick it up as actually, it was like, I made like a proper day of it as well. So um, this, I'm gonna have to let you in on a little secret. This is the second set. The other one's right there. Um, I may show you eventually, um, like I'm making a video about this whole process, but yes. Also, as you can see, um, I, I am impatient and I couldn't help myself and yesterday Ben was playing D&D &D and I had nothing much to do Ooh. and I was like, do you know what I really want to do? I want to build some Lego. So I started with it. Also because it's quite a big set, um, I figured I probably wouldn't be able to build like the whole thing in like a live stream anyway. So I, I kind of started because because I like building Lego guys and I have no self-control. Anyways, um, <laughs> hi Owen, how are you doing? Bronx says, damn it, it was supposed to cancel after one month. God, guess, I'll stick around for a month too. <laughs> of course you are, of course you are. There was just too much VIP things and chat happening, of course, um, Bronx. That's why you stuck around. I hope. Um, so yes, so we'll be continuing this build. Oh, I see that some flowers have broken off. So it's been a, a really interesting journey actually building this. So obviously, um, as I said, this is the second set. So it's actually the second time that I'm building this set and um, it's kind of like rediscovering the things that I've just built but also kind of this is um, testing out if I had done the correct separation of things during my 15 hour long sorting process and I've actually found out that I didn't correctly uh, log one brick but I had a replacement for it and another little tile that um, I don't know if you can see but there's basically a tile missing here so um, I don't know if I'll come across it later on or if I'm going to have to order that separately. But so far, that's two bricks that I didn't catalog, which out of two whole sets so far isn't too bad. Um, I don't know if, if is it is this brightness bright, guys? Do you see enough? Obviously, I, I only have one focus, so it's sort of like focused in the middle here. But um, is, is the screen bright enough? I don't know. But let me know if, uh, if it's all good. Hi Simon Moss, how are you doing? Hi Zavadak, hello. Oh my gosh, Abby's become a member! Welcome to the squad! It's awesome to have you here. Um, don't forget to check out the link to the Discord where we get to chat to you, but welcome to the squad, it's awesome to have you. I will, because you're a luxury high tea member, I will write your name on a black tile and add it to my membership board here. So um, that's very, very exciting. Love having the members represented in the Lego room. Um, how is everybody doing? Hello. <laughs> um, I think I said every hi to everybody so far. Sabadag, did I say you? Hello. Yes, the brick bank it is indeed. Um, very, very excited to, um, to continue this build. So, so far I've done the sort of um, entryway to the um, laundrette 
but because of the build the actual like laundry machines come later because it's obviously also a play feature of the set then I've got like all the beautifully custom printed windows in already I've got the really nice over the door feature which is fantastic um, and design of the inside I actually realized when I was building this bit the vase inside was a bluish like trans blue piece rather than a clear because the vase I basically used the wrong color in the up set that's up there so I've changed that around now so that's correct I have to say um, again this I probably reiterate this in a video if I ever make like a sec like part two to this whole scenario but um, because this is being used for like actual building of other bits and stuff as well like it's obviously been part of a mock for so long um, it's definitely a used set so like the quality of the bricks is definitely used and sometimes because I'm adding like missing bricks new general I've not always bought like a new bricks but in general I'm adding new bricks also oh thank you so much um for the for the donation that's awesome thank you um so yeah but because I'm basically um, adding some new bricks sometimes the, the quality difference is noticeable but um that's fine but I'm gonna have to think about that if I want to sell the set because actually that makes valuation of this a little bit trickier but that's fine um, the only thing I think about that is because obviously whatever I can sell this for is whatever budget I have for my next set because um, double VIP weekend week um, is anybody buying anything because I have just spent my August budget in July like halfway through July well done Jana. tap 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 great budget keeping um, to be fair, I was planning on it. The people in the Discord will know. I was um, going back and forth about it quite a lot of time, but because, you know, the uh, the double VIP thing doesn't happen all the time, so I was kind of waiting for it to come around. I thought, I'll spend my August budget now and get another set that I'm super excited about. It actually is going to be delivered tomorrow, the one day that I'm not in the house. Oh my gosh, ODJ, welcome. Welcome to the squad too. Um, again, I will add your name to the membership board too in a beautiful white tile just right there. Um, I'll do that in a moment when I catch up with everything because I am on my own. I'm solo doing this today, as you can see. Um, ben is having a bath right now, which is just sounds very relaxing, I'm sure, especially having to hear my voice in the background. Um, but yes, so I spent my August budget, as I was saying, so... Um, Whatever I get for the brick bank sale is whatever I can actually spend in August because otherwise there's literally nothing. <laughs> um, Owen says I'm definitely going to buy the Avengers compound to get a double VIP bounce. Yes. Oh my gosh, I wish the um, the new like new Asgard's little twenty eight pound Thor set was out already because I actually really want that. I have none of the Marvel set, like none of them. I've also not watched that many Marvel um, movies. But I've seen Thor Ragnarok. I want to see the Thor Lo uh, Love and Thunder. And I've seen like the original Iron Man and like Captain America. Maybe the first Avengers. But I really, really love like the apartment for Thor. Like I love the minifigures that come with it. I love all the details in it. So that's that may be my first Marvel set. Honestly, I need to stop giving away everything I'm buying. But yeah, that's kind of um, that's kind of what I'm probably planning to do. Purple Shroom, hello from self isolation. Oh my God, no way. That sucks, but at least there is Lego and live streams and things to do during the time. Simon says, I'm a uh, moss says, I'm thinking of going to the Milton Keynes store this weekend. I might buy the space shuttle. Ooh. Um, somebody, who was it? One of you guys, one of the members was buying, uh, well, I know that one of them was buying, I think it was, was it a Maker Man? I think it was, was buying Ninja Ninjago City Gardens, but also somebody was buying um, Diagon Alley, and I was like, oh my gosh, I had bought Diagon Alley on double points. At the time when I bought Diagon Alley, which is on my birthday last year, so nearly a year ago actually, um, I didn't even know double VIP things, like points was a thing. That was probably my first purchase I actually ever earned VIP points on, so yes. Let me just really quickly be quiet for one second and find out which step I was on. I've definitely done that. I've done that too. Okay, we're at we're at step 77. Oh, we're not. I'm lying. We're at step 78. Where we're adding beautiful stained glass. So as I'm flying solo today, um, you're gonna have to forgive me for falling behind on the chat a little bit. I'll do my best to at least read everything, but like try and read it out and respond to. But I appreciate your, you know, your time today. 
Um, I only have a head wig to build. Oh no, purple shrimp. That's the perfect excuse to go onto lego.com or order whatever you want right now. Double VIP points. Um, budgets, who, who needs them? Who wants to hear about them? I definitely don't. I, I just go like this. La, 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 la. Um, and that's how I live my life right now. It's a very sensible technique I would not necessarily recommend for everybody. Um, yes, I can't wait to get the new Asgard set, says Owen. Yeah, I'm actually really, really excited for it. Um, it's so good that a non-Marvel fan actually would want it. Also, the minifigs are just great. Um, <laughs> I'm meeting a man, says oh, Ben's in the bath. This is B-Fan's dream stream. <laughs> Um, Patrick Ma, I just bought the Elsa Ice Castle double points and got the free Charles Dickens and added a shoe. That's awesome, Patrick. Um, yeah, the Ice Castle is definitely not a set that I've necessarily got on my wish list, but I want the original Disney Castle still. Um, the double points on that is probably really good. Um, sadly, in the UK, we're not getting the uh, Charles Dickens promo again. We're only getting the Adidas, Adidas, however you want to say that, shoe, which, oh no. Oh no, it's, it's missing a brick at the bottom. Um, but you know, the Aladosh is actually really cute. I don't know if I'll build it or if I'll just keep it sealed, I don't know. I'm trying to sell my sealed Ron and Dumbledore brick heads at the minute so I have a bit of budget as well. Um, but I've only listed them like on not a proper Lego platform so I don't know if that's gonna go anywhere anytime soon. Uh, and I've missed some things. <laughs> going to Michael Kors, aren't you? <laughs> yes, MK. Um, only have had to some awesome birthday, Abby. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> hi, people. This is Tommy Ridge. Hello, welcome. Tommy, you need to see your new really cool icon you've got because it's the second month of your membership, and there's a really cool new little piece of cake. Because, as I said to the guys, the tea is in the Discord. Um, Lego Harry Potter 12. Hello, how are you doing? Omega Man says, I bought gardens. Yes, I did think it was you. 4,400 VIP points. Yes. One hell of a lot of points. That's so good. May have to take a trip to online Lego shopping. I think you should, Purple Shroom, and let us know what you get. Um, <laughs> um, why Lego? Why no child set? Um, with Purple Shroom, I don't actually know why they don't have them in Europe. Um, I was kind of speculating that maybe because um, obviously the US is currently still waiting for like the June release set so I don't, I don't know if they want to compromise but then also I, it just seems that the US is getting more promise anyway because I think they have like a poly bag at the minute for minions then maybe I think maybe they're in UK Lego stores but I've seen I've not seen them when I went last so that's kind of what I was speculating about why they might have them I realized that this is going to be a really loud stream um also I just need to dug under the desk to see if I have a one by one trans green tile this is obviously this is the problem of buying sets that aren't necessarily complete because it you may find out that you're missing bits halfway through um ooh, i think i have one yes it's okay i have it i have it there we go so i've added those things Okay, the wood chips. Also spent my August budget, but I'm at August. <laughs> but I'm at August 2022 now. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes, to be honest. But um, I had like the shock of my life today because I got an email from like our local council wedding thing saying like, "Hey, you can you please pay for your wedding ceremony? Because we need you to pay that like at least two months in advance, otherwise we may cancel." And I was like, "Wait, what?" Because in my head, October is like really far away. I think it's probably because like because of COVID, like none of us can plan very far ahead. So October to me is like, you know, literally a decade. And then I actually worked it out in my head and like, it's like just a bit less than three months away. So it's actually really not very far. And I, I had a little bit of a moment where I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that was a fun email to get. Um, that just totally dropped me into dread. It wasn't like, not dread as in like, I don't want to get married, but more as in like, oh my god, I literally haven't started planning again yet. Because obviously we had lots of, because we were meant to get married on November 12th last year, and in a different place. I had like things planned for that, and I kind of had like a rough plan in place, and who we wanted, and like the invites had gone out, and basically I, I was really prepared for that. 
Whereas now, because we've all learned because of COVID, planning is useless because it'll probably change anyway. I haven't really started planning properly yet for um, for the coming one in ooh, for the coming one in October. So um, yeah, that was a bit of like okay, maybe maybe I should start planning because that really isn't that far away. Woohoo! Um, don't forget to like the stream. Good point, Abby. Very very sensible. So yeah, <laughs> Christian. Um, Oh sorry, I don't I don't know what was happening. Bye Johanna. Hi oh that was probably when I was diving in the desk to get something, sorry. Um trying to buy the knockoff Lego ones. Lots of missing pieces. Yeah, yeah, I imagine there is. Um which is why I'm not buying those. <laughs> um Simon Moss, I'm s uh, I've still got my sealed box brick bank to crack open yet. Ah, we're all jealous. We're all very, very jealous. Um hello Blue, how are you doing? Welcome to the club. Um, we're having a nice, it's really warm in this room already, I swear, because this is such, such a small room, it just gets so warm straight away, and actually outside today it's pretty warm too, um, so that's just fantastic, because now I'm just boiling straight away. Also I dropped one of the lights on the floor, but I'm not going to be able to pick it up until after the stream, so if anybody can remind me to pick that up, that would be great, I appreciate you. Um, yes, so let me just continue. This is, I've already, I'm one step in, found out that this is actually going to be quite a difficult set to build on stream because it actually requires um, searching through parts, thinking, planning, <laughs> all the things that are preoccupied when I'm, when I'm talking to you guys too, so. When I'm, when I'm rifling through this box of parts, how, how loud is it for you? Can you still hear me talk? We'll find out. Let me know in the chat. Also, no, I'll get to that in a minute. Do, 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 do. Is Ben invited to the wedding? Um, I'm still, I'm still debating it, you know. Um, I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. I'm a busy night. Um, have fun building. No worries, Owen. Thanks for popping in when you could. Really nice to have seen you. Have a nice evening. Right. Let me see. I need one more of the round hole brick. So loud! I should have brought my um, my list of parts. Also, I don't even no, I think that cuts off. But I have basically this like more than this of bags of spare parts in front of me because I ordered all of the parts that were missing from this set that I note like that I noted down. So if I can't find it in here. And I could be in here, so I have a lot to check to build. So this th this is why I started building yesterday, because I was like, this is going to take ages. So, um, hence why. I'm not too worried. Um, in the absence of Ben in the stream... Uh, the absence of Ben in the stream is very sad name, Johanna. Gotta love him trying to build the forks, but not being able to find any of the pieces. <laughs> oh, we came off that stream and Ben was like, I was, I was really stressed. <laughs> Like, this is really hard. I was like, oh, bless you. I guess, to be fair, like, when I was first streaming, I just kind of stopped the stream when I was getting tired and, like, regardless of how far the search has progressed. But then kind of felt like he had to finish on stream and it was taking him ages and he felt bad about it and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. But also, I want him to enjoy Lego, so maybe next time I'll let him build it on its own time, like, off stream. Because obviously, what we're all trying to do here, guys, is make him love Lego so he can start collecting too and then add budget to our city. But I don't think that's going to happen if he feels stressed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was happening. <laughs> I missed the ch chat that you mentioned adventure sets. Yeah, we were, um, we were just saying, well, we, I'm not a more than one person. Um, I was saying that I really want to get the new, new Asgard set with Thor and Mick and stuff, because I don't actually have any of the Marvel sets, but I think it looks really good, so that is awesome. Also, I'm still trying to convince Ben to get the Benefar, because the Benefar looks ace. Um, but that, again, may be a long journey, because it's £135, so that may be difficult to do that. We're here for the Lego nose. <laughs> it's a mark to my ears. Good, good, because you're going to get a lot of that. Hello Tony B, how are you doing? You are amazing at building. I am so slow today because this is actually difually difficult. I'm so sorry for anybody that needs that it's here for a speed build. 
This 100% will not be a speed build. This will, this will be a slow where the hell are all my pieces build. But, but that is fine. Right? Um, awesome. My, my wife tells me off when I rummage through parts. She's annoyed she can't hear the TV. <laughs> I'll be glad when I get my own room. Yeah, fair enough, Simon. Oh my gosh. That is, that must be some pressure to have on your shoulders. Um, luckily Ben and I, like Ben's probably in the office normally when I'm building, so it's just kind of next door, he doesn't even hear it. Plus he wears really big headphones. So sometimes I talk to Ben, like even when we're both in the office, I call it the office, it's basically our second bedroom. Um, but basically I sometimes sit like at my computer and I talk to him and then I realize, like look, I don't get any response. I look over and he's wearing his headphones, like vibing to some music or like listening to like a critical role podcast or something. And I'm like, I've just been talking to the wall for half an hour, haven't I? Great. That definitely happens too often. Mm -mm. We did put an unusual amount of pressure on him, lol. Especially being his first one. Yeah, we did. We were like, come on, you're fighting. <laughs> you need to be quicker than my brick a picks you can do this. It's fine, it's fine. I didn't put him off forever, but we need to be gentle with him next time and um, allow him to build in his own, at his own pace. Da, 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 da. Where are my small one by one tiles? I'm trying to decide what I'd be okay with spending for this detective office and the restaurant and if it might just be better to spend it, the time to part them out. Mmm, yes. I think, if you're meaning the restaurant, like the Parisian restaurant, that comes up for decent prices. The reason I've been able to afford retired modulars is I am not first on Newman Box, because I realised really early on that they go for a lot, and I am never able to go... I mean, not able to afford, or not wanting to afford, it's a different thing of course, but I just don't feel like I can afford to get like a Newman Box set, especially like from the retired modulars, they just go for so much. So I decided that I'm okay with like used. So, um, so far those gambles have always paid off. Um, if you're not super, super fussy, then there are deals to be had. And the retired modules I did pick up were just ones that like, I'm not like, I need it right now. I wait till like a good deal comes up because in Facebook Marketplace every now and then, like something really good does pop up. And my other plan is, uh, my other rule with buying used is if it's over 50 pounds, I have to go to the person to pick it up. So, um, Either that means a road trip, but if it's a road trip, I want to know how much money I'm spending in petrol in order to see if it's justifiable. But generally, I just wait till one of the modules that I want comes up in my sort of like commutable area, and then I go to see it first, and then I buy it. So I know that when I when I'm handing over the money, it's a good value set, and I'm happy with it, and there's like no surprises. Um, and generally, that's worked out really well so far. So I can recommend that approach. So if you're really if you're really keen for some modulars and you're okay buying used, I would say like just be patient, wait till something comes up like near issue, like I don't know, f figure out with yourself how comfortable you are, how far you want to go, and then either make a day of it or like just go out when something does pop up. Because so far, it meant that sometimes there's a lot of money that has to be sent in one month and some months there's nothing, but um, it's worked really well, so I can recommend that. That was a really long <laughs> answer, basically. Um, <laughs> trying to say, did you buy, did you buy the police station, Sir Patrick? Yes, I did indeed buy the police station because that has been on my list for ever since it came out in January, and I'm hopeful because I've kind of caught up with all the modules that are out at the minute. So that means that when the new modular comes out in January, I'll be able to buy that on release, which is very, very excited, exciting. Also, I've already come up with a plan to extend my city again. It's not upwards this time, but I will cover that in a video soon because um, it's ooh, it's easier to show you in video than to explain it in words. So that is coming up. I don't think I'll implement the changes like anytime soon, but once definitely by January when I get more modulars, um, that plan will go into action. I'm very excited. It does not require Legionings room though. Um, it's all within the within the restraint of this box room. So yes. <laughs> Good evening. Hello Axel Plate. How are you doing? Welcome. Um, 
Yes, I don't care so much about brand new unbox. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I was able to afford brand new unbox, that would be fantastic. I would love that, but the prices for those, man, like, it, I found it really difficult. I was quite lucky with the Parisian restaurant because I feel like that's one of the slightly not as expensive modulars, and I found that one for 150 just like a wife selling her husband's sets that he occasionally built, and I was like, oh my god. I, I feel like I'm starting some sort of argument, but it's fine. It wasn't my fault. I was just buying it. Um, sadly, she was selling the uh, detective office for 150 at the same time as well, but because I couldn't afford both at the time, and it was, gosh, this must have been like the end of last year. Um, I couldn't do both, which in hindsight, if I had known how much the detective office was, I probably would have just gone, fuck it. I would have just gone, whatever, and bought both, but um, oh well. There we go. Great. I'm just great. That wasn't- that didn't happen, guys? Can we all- com community decide that didn't happen? Thanks. Um, <laughs> um, ooh. Sometimes there are great deals for retired sets, but they sell almost instantly in my area. Yeah, they do go quite quickly. You should get a daily bugle, bugle, you could use it as a skyscraper for the city. I would, like, the, don't get me wrong, the daily bugle looks amazing and I would definitely love to add it to my city, but it's also kind of like... But I feel like I would be paying for a lot of Marvel references, figures, license, and... What is it technically Marvel? Spider-Man is... is it Marvel now? Can I say it's a Marvel set? It is a Marvel set, right? Because they were speculating that Stan Lee would be in it, so yes, Marvel. Um, and I just don't think I'd be, that'd be worth it, but um, there are rumours for 2022 for another smaller Ninjago modular, which I would 100% get. Honestly, I think the set that I most want right now is Ninjago City, but that set is just insane. I just, the, the price of that just makes me want to cry because as much as that's really great for people that own that set, if you do not own the set, like, they, they're going used for £600, and I'm like, no. Like, like Diagon Alley, I feel, is like at the top of my comfort zone, and that's um, that's new in box 370. I don't want to get a used set for, for that much money. Like, ugh, scary. But maybe, maybe it's worth it. I'm sure, I mean, it looks fantastic, so it would be fantastic to get. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the pieces and sometimes I don't know if it's because I can't find them because I actually haven't got them in here or if it's just because I'm blind. Um, I just finished Assembly Square. Truly love that build. Oh my gosh, that was my first modular. I love that build. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much, Bronx. Bless you. That's really nice. Sorry, I just, I just noticed that. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Ooh. I love Assembly Square. I was... Honestly, it was the first modular that I built, so it was the first time that I could see like the level of detail inside, like the the techniques used, how long they take to build. They were so fun. Also, I remember I I've recorded my building process of it because I nulled every single bag, and there was five stages for that build. So like, imagine how many bricks that was to null, and I recorded all of that, and I put all my um, all my footage and premieres all together, and I think it was like. 24 hours because I did it over a week like every evening and then I was like nah I I can't edit this I just can't do it so I've never released that footage because I was like I just can't it's, I just can't it's way too much um but yeah I did actually I think I put the, I put the photos of my nulling onto my Instagram so they're there like way back but gosh that took me so long if you want a set to, to like absolutely ages um null them it's not a way of building quicker, but it does mean that you can fight your bricks really quickly when you're building. Um, you can do what Emily does and find a brick and talk for 20 minutes and then put the brick in and repeat. I, I feel like I'm getting that. I'm, I'm just conscious that people might here also to watch like progress on the set, so I kind of want to at least put a brick on every few minutes. <laughs> but I get distracted on my own trains of thoughts and I just run away with it. Um, Purple Shrimps says, will you be selling any Lego anytime soon? Oh, that's actually a really, really interesting point because, as we all know, I have limited room around me. Um, and selling has been on my mind a little bit. Just realistically, at some point, I will run out of room. 
that's just the reality of this thing. Um, so I am selling some stuff at the minute, but it's only like things that I had double. So like I'm selling my sealed Ron and Dumbledore brick heads that are just because I have them. And I'd rather sell the brick heads now and use the money for like to fund more um, Lego than to just keep them sit new, new in box somewhere sealed, like it's no point. I'm also selling like the Mindstorm gift, gift of purchase, you know the one that's like literally worth £10 now, um, which is probably about the value of the bricks inside. Um, but I'm not using it, so I may as well again sell it for a bit of funds. Because uh, I have to get the funds from somewhere. <laughs> Um, so yes, I but I don't think I'll be selling any of these sets because I actually have walked around this room going like if I really needed to get like some more budget to buy some something new, what would I sell? And actually every single set in this room I don't want to part with. And that's kind of also my philosophy philosophy before buying of like if I if I'm feeling meh about it, I don't think I'll buy it. That doesn't mean that like in maybe a few years time I won't feel meh about it, but at the moment everything in here I just love. But then, everything in here I have required over the last year, which is just insane. God. What's the name of my city? My name of- this, the name of the city is Bricksworth! Um, the grand old very majestic Bricksworth. Oh, also, also, I'll show you this. Um, my final piece for the statue in my city came in. Um, I can't take the whole thing off, but this will give you an idea. So, here he- here he is. You shall not pass! I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's the guardian of Bricksworth. Um, can we talk about how adorable the little high tea toy club icons are? Oh, thank you, Purple Shroom. I tried. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> hey, Kevin! I bought toys. How are you doing? It's good to have you in the stream again. It's been t it's been some time. Very nice. Um, oh, have I missed some more people? Oh my gosh. Bride is Witch Bricks, it's like the OG crew! Hello! Welcome! Um, let's go down... <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to Kevin, hi to Lauren! <laughs> awesome to have you here! Bronxus, um, that dono was for the swear jar! <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I just, it just fell out, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Topic Bricks says, selling Lego Harry Potter sets is immoral. <laughs> so, actually that brings me to a really good point, so... I don't know how long you guys have been following the channel, um, but I've definitely mentioned it, in to, mentioned it in a quite few streams now. But basically, I have a really large collection of retired Harry Potter sets that I bought in August of last year. So basically, before I actually started buying a lot of sets in the UK, like new in box from Lego stores and stuff, I actually bought a really large collection from somebody in the Netherlands, which my parents went to pick up with the intention of when they came to visit me, which was at the time my birthday, which was like a month later, um, they would bring it over. However, because of COVID lockdown and restrictions, they actually weren't able to come and they actually ha still haven't been able to come like nearly a year later. Um, but that's actually what started my collection, but it's really weird to have owned a huge amount of retired Lego for a year and not seen it, nor sorted it through, nor assessed the quality of it. But by the point that it will arrive, because when I bought it, I had nothing. And now I have a room full and I have space issues. So actually, um, realistically, when I'm sifting through all of that, I will have to probably be quite selective as to what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell. So there may be some some things that I have to sell from that collection, depending on how it goes. Um, I definitely know that there's one opened and used um, Harry Potter dueling set and one new in box, though it's slightly damaged box. So I'll definitely sell the, the new in box set. But yeah, that's kind of, um, that's coming. It's so, it's so weird to know that I have all those sets in an unknown condition and unknown, um, what do you call it? Like unknown completeness in a different country that I can't have right now. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong. Um, it's obviously tied in with not having been able to see my parents for a year and a half, which at this point is actually a bit, a bit sad, not gonna lie. Um, but we're hoping, we're hoping for like some announcements around the 19th of July, but I'm, I'm, I'm doubtful my parents will be able to come over. And I think the first time they'll come over, it will probably be for my wedding when they have to isolate for two weeks to even attend that, so. But I've had a chat with them and I was like, I don't think I want to have this wedding without you guys there. So they said that they're, they'll probably isolate so they can be there, which is very nice. That made me very happy. Anyway, way too much information. Sorry, this is what I do. I go off on the tension. This, I haven't even got a brick in my hands. <laughs> um, 
Da -da. Don't sell Lego when you need room, then use the money to get more Lego. Sell Lego when you need room and invest the money in a bigger home and then get more Lego. <laughs> That's very sensible. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm planning, I'm obviously at some point moving, Ben and I are, we're doing all the live things. Ben and I have been wanting to buy a house for over two years, but every time we kind of got in a position where we would be able to buy something, one of us had a job change or had something happen to us, like to our financial situation that we couldn't or something came up that just made it annoying so for two years now we kind of have been going okay yeah we're ready to buy oh no life has happened okay right we need to wait again so like it's just kind of been back and forth so hopefully um hopefully by next year sometime we'll be able to buy a house or so maybe I am sort of like sneakily looking at houses just to be aware what the price range is and also like to make sure that when we are looking, I know how to make sure that I can get a good Lego room. <laughs> but yeah, it's hopefully happening next year, but it'll depend on Ben's job because sadly, Ben will be losing his job in uh, in September, well, late August, which we know already and we've been planning for, but it's, um, it's a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, we'll see. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Um, <laughs> it's lovely, the tangents. <laughs> Absolutely, that's, that's what happens on the stream. Like, I'll just go off on tangents all the time. Gee, Deadpool with a wizard hat. <laughs> Axel, <laughs> really. Um, I'm doing great, and yeah, I was traveling and then my stream times just haven't been working out. Yeah, that's totally fair. Like, I know that my stream times for like you in the US aren't really ideal because in the middle of the day, but um, if I stream late, then maybe they work out eventually. <laughs> Um, topic breaks, I might buy some of that from you then. Oh yeah, I mean, I'll probably, if I do get that, I'll obviously make a video of like me getting it and like sorting it, because I have no idea what state it's in at the minute, but I'll um, obviously let the members know if I am selling anything, just in case anybody wants anything. Um, Patrick says, have you got your vaccine? I've had my first vaccine in June, on June 16th. Wait, let me just make sure that I'm getting this brick, because I'm talking, I'm not looking for a brick, we should combine the two. Um, I've had my first vaccine on June the 16th and my second one isn't until September 1st which is an absolute age away and I am going to try and see if I can pull it forward because um, I would just like to have my vaccines because that's one of the reasons why travelling is harder. Not that that's the thing that's actually solving me at the minute um, because you can't travel anyway at the moment to the Netherlands even if you wanted to. But um, yeah. I will have my second one soon, hopefully. Uh, have you been watching the Loki series, says Keenan. Hello, also, I haven't said hello to you yet. Um, surprisingly, and if you know me in real life, you will know how crazy this is, but I've watched the first episode. I don't watch series normally, I don't know why, I find it really hard to commit the time, I don't know, I'm just not really a TV watcher. I used to be when I was like younger, but just not really anymore. But I've watched the first episode, and it was a bit like, oh yeah, I remember what series were like, because, you know, at the end of the first episode, because it's a series, like, they'll always put something at the end of each episode to make you want to watch the next one, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot the drama. I forgot what that was like. But I'm, I'm hopeful that maybe I'll be able to commit myself to watching the whole thing. I think it's only like six, isn't it? Like, it's not that many, so I feel like, I feel like that's a good goal for myself but um, I'm, I'm absolutely probably somebody that will have what like will watch a sixth episode in like three months time because I am very slow um I've not seen my parents in almost a year either yeah I, I mean Covid is just such a pain I'm, I'm really sorry I'm Simon as well it's just I don't know why you haven't I'm assuming Covid as well but like honestly it's just all the rules are such a pain I'm really annoyed as well because there was a time like within July for like a month where travel was possible and my sister came over so I saw one of my sisters I have three sisters by the way um I saw one of my sisters then and in hindsight I'm like oh my god I wish I'd known that it would only be like literally a month time that I could go um because I would have just traveled back home but because I was looking for a job at the time like really desperately I um I couldn't really because I had to be there in case I got an interview so I didn't travel back my mum and dad were busy so that it couldn't travel to me so I en we ended up not seeing each other and we've been oh my gosh like how many times you said that we regretted that so much like oh we should have just done it but then at the time we just had a little pandemic we had, we had a lockdown you know it was slowly opening up again it kind of felt like 
that was over now and obviously we were so wrong we were so wrong <laughs> the woodshop teacher i can't make myself sell lego i have given some away to a few from my youtuber community but definitely holding on to my sets from the 70s oh my gosh yeah if you have 70s sets definitely don't get rid of those um i i think getting rid of lego is harder now as well because I got rid of some Lego when I was a kid and obviously that's what actually motivated me to get back into Lego because I've regretted it ever since. Um, so I don't want to have that again. Um, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I have to be a real stick. This room is, is not a TARDIS, sadly. I wish it was. That would be really useful. If anybody has any techniques to make this into a TARDIS, please let me know. Um, but yeah, like eventually I'll run out of space. So far though, every time I've gotten like to the point where I was like, I think I've, I've run out of space, like I found a way to like make it bigger. Or like, well, obviously not to make it bigger, but to like create more space. Um, but at some point, <laughs> some point I would have filled every single bit with Lego. So I don't think I can keep doing that forever. That'd be fun though. So yes. <laughs> Um, what? Ben closing the store? No, so his store is still going. He's not really got a store, but he's, he works for a skate park and the skate park is closing down, which is very sad. But, um, you know, life happens sometimes and these things happen and it wasn't anybody's decision really to close. It was kind of forced upon them. Let's not go into that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we know that that's happening and for a while, which is why we were really stressed for it. I don't think we talked about it very much, but for a while um, we thought, like in June, was it? yeah, in June we heard that that may happen at the end of June. So like for a while, for like a week or two, we were like, we don't know if Ben's gonna have a job in like two weeks time. But luckily that has been deferred and it's now gonna happen in August. So we have a bit of time to plan. It's like at the end of August, beginning of September. So we have some time to plan and stuff. But yeah, we've, um, we've been through a bit of stress recently. But but Lego is here, so when I'm like when I do streams, it's like my therapy. I'm building Lego, I'm chatting to some awesome people, and it's just really nice. And actually, Ben's found the same because sometimes he came home quite stressed and like, oh, all of this stuff is happening. And then it was like, come on, come on the stream. And it's like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. And then I actually loved being on the stream and talking to you all, and it made him really happy. So, um, yeah, it's been really nice in that sense as well, actually. Um, <laughs> When you and Ben get married, will you be Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Minifigs? <laughs> we will be getting, I think we'll be making our wedding minifigs. So have I ever shown Ben min, Ben's minifig? So we're currently sitting in a bench in my park. Let me actually turn the light on in a moment. Um, here are our minifigs. Um, I know they won't focus on them, but these are our minifigs. Um, I'm planning on getting more parts for both and spraying them gold so we'll have some golden minifigs as we've been discussing and then um we also want to buy or like design some custom brick heads but because obviously uh, today i had the scare that actually um our wedding is in less than three months i probably need to get one to that so yes that's the plan for sure um Bronx is holy cow three months between shots only three weeks in between both here and states Eesh. yeah I mean it's different because it's a it's a private health privatized health privatized and like public health care so it's different so we're kind of like at the mercy of like when there's availability and when it rolled out because we because we're younger we had to wait way longer before because like people have been being vaccinated for like months and months and months but because we we're quite young like we had to wait really long before we were eligible and then we got it as soon as possible but I think at the moment they're trying to get people vaccinated quicker so we can it's one of those things we just need to do but we keep forgetting but we need to just call like our doctor's office and actually see if we can get one quicker because that'd be quite nice but anyway it's fine it's all happening um Jan says just lurking today that's fine I tend to be a lurker in streams to be honest I find it um yeah I like to be just like nicely um uh just doing things whilst uh, whilst listening to streams, so don't worry. <laughs> Bronx says Loki is wonderful with a great ending today. Oh my gosh, don't say anything, Bronx. Shh. Spoilers, don't want that. Um, Abby says, I think it always rather trade with other Ethels, but sadly I don't know anybody here. Um, whereabouts are you based, Abby? Um, I don't actually know. I'm just trying to remember if I've ever seen it. Bambi Builds! Hello! Hello! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> Can't stay too long because it's really late where I live. That's absolutely fine. Thanks for popping in anyway. I really appreciate it. Really nice. 
Donald says, 46 people in the stream. What? That's a lot of people. That's awesome. <laughs> hello. Um, Saeed, hello. Good to see you here. Sorry I'm late. No worries. Ironically, the reason it's late because I was building Lego and lost track of time. I think that's the best reason for being late ever. But obviously, again, you're never late. All good. Patrick says, is, Patrick says Ben is Heidi boy. Hashtag golden Ben. Actually, his, his brother at home calls him golden boy. So um, that's quite funny. That probably fits in really well. <laughs> that goes, um, question answers, that goes both ways. Watching your stream is definitely therapeutic. <laughs> Good, that's nice. I like hanging out with you guys. I like watching other people stream as well. Like I never really used to watch streams until like a few, when I started streaming myself, I was like, oh, okay, now I kind of know what they are. And then I kind of started snooping around the Lego community and finding more and more really fun streams. And it's just nice to get a bit of like, light-hearted positive energy especially when it was like lockdown and you couldn't really hang out with people and then you could just like tune into a stream and like have people talk about your favorite hobby because i'm yet to find people in real life that are very into lego however well i've got james now and i've met up with him a few times um but my our friends were here on monday um and they obviously know that we've been like i've been collecting for ages but it was the first time they see my collection and it's so much fun like showing friends that aren't into lego like your collection because they just go oh my god, like, I just need to take this in, and like, they start like looking, and the longer you look, the more you see, and it's just such a joy to show people, absolutely, it's really nice. Um, <laughs> um, good evening, Mamas Bricks, hello, hope you're doing well, welcome to the stream. Um, Bronx says, that's as much as I will say about Loki, <laughs> good, good, yes, no spoilers here, um, especially because I'm trying to actually watch it for a change, so, um, Right, I'm going to read the stream in a minute, but I just need to make sure that I have this another brick that I'm looking for. Somewhere over the rainbow. I also need a slopey slope. Oh geez, well now. Okay, this is the one that I need, and then I need the one by two dark tan small slope. I think, I think that one is in one of the bags. I think I had to order that. Right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, I was just, I'm in Melbourne, Florida, so not too far away from the Space Center. Oh, okay, cool. Um, on Instagram, there's a decent community of um, Australian Lego fans, so I'm just going to try and remember this off the top of my head. Um, oh my gosh, obviously at this point all the names that I have in my head. There's Jen's Lego, she's in Australia, I just don't know exactly where. Um, and like... It messaged me on Instagram and I'll share some of the Australian accounts that I know of. You may already follow them, very likely you are. But they're really lovely and actually they tend to trade sometimes with each other as well. So maybe, um, maybe you can find a little community there. Um... Oh, and Jesse. Jesse's also, but he's Gold Coast, I think. And um, Jesse's Lego. He's got a YouTube channel, too. Um, <laughs> Jared says, what set are you building? I am building the brick bank. Very, very, very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> um, but you can kind of see it here next to me. It's getting a bit darker, so um, I may have to turn some lights on in a moment. But here we go. Um, since the stream started, no visible progress really has to be made uh, uh, outside of the first step but it's because I'm building the laundry bit so that's that always takes a little bit longer and it's actually we really slow progress so I've just added in a drawer that I think is for like me uh, measuring coins very cool design and now I'm just gonna add in some more bits and pieces number of people getting into Lego and people streaming really rose during the start of the pandemic which is so that's the woodshop teacher. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously I was one of them because, I mean, it wasn't the start of the pandemic that I got into it. I got into it in August, so actually after like the, the first wave that had gone. Um, but yeah, it's kind of when I found another hobby. And it's funny because like two years ago, I used to say, oh, I just don't have a hobby. Like I wish I had something that I could really like pour my time into. And here I am. Now I have not, I haven't got enough spare time to go around I always need more time to because at the moment I'm because I'm doing videos and I'm building sets and stuff my mocking time has just gone like I really am not doing very many mocks anymore partially 
because of time, partially because um, I just don't want to sit behind a screen even more and I haven't really, I like doing proper like from scratch mocks on the screen because it's just a bit easier to have every single brick available to you. But yes, I'm just going to turn the light on because it's getting really dark. One minute. There we go. There we go. A bit more yellow now, but at least it's not so dark. Also because I actually need to see what I'm doing. Partially, partially the reason. Uh, yes. Do, 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 do. Ooh. A slopey slope. You know it. Oh, I just watched a new Loki episode and it's great. It's such a cliffhanger at the end. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. T. Glab. And also, hi, welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Um, that's the fourth other Melbourne, unfortunately. Uh, I think you've always said something before that. Oh, Mel... Sorry. Melbourne, Florida. You literally said... I'm so sorry, Abby. Silly me. Just went... I just saw Melbourne and I was like, Australia. Apologies. Um... Yes. And now I've lost where I was. I see some a Mega Men's a sleep slope, that made me happy. Uh just finished Loki 2. I'm literally on episode one. <laughs> um Onat, hello. I built a police station today. Lovely set. I am so excited for that build, honestly guys. Um it's coming. But because I spent my August budget on it, I'm gonna keep it. At least that's what I'm saying now. I'm keep gonna keep it in box, in like the proper Lego box that it comes in until August. And then I'll make a video about it because I feel like uh, that way I'll I'll feel like I am spending money on Lego in August. So um, yeah, the plan is unless I sell the brick bank and I have like an actual budget, I will try and keep it sealed until August. So I have like a big set to build. Also, I'm literally building two brick bank sticks this month. So you know, um, in the states, yeah. Sorry, I, I've I've seen it now, Abby. I just went on a tangent and didn't look at the chat. Um, I saw on YouTube someone uploaded the full animated Aladdin and it doesn't skip a month ago and it still hasn't been blocked yet. It also makes me wonder why Lego, uh, when Lego will make a new Aladdin set. Ooh, yes. Oh, that'd be cool, because that's really nice minifigs. Because we've got, like, these really cute ones. That one. That one. And I've got Jafar and I haven't got, um, I actually haven't got Aladdin because he's one of two that I still need from the Disney series. I still need Buzz and Aladdin, that's the only two that I still need. Right, just gonna shut up for two seconds and find the bricks that I need. There we go. This one and a one by three. There we go, perfect. Um, they did one for Yasmin, but not that much, much more since. Yeah, I've not seen any new ones, but then they've got like Raya and stuff. Oh my gosh, I would really love some, um, what's it called? Is it called, is the film called Luca? Gosh, I haven't seen it yet, but like so far it looks really cute. And it, the, the new Pixar one, it looks so adorable. I'd love some sets of that. But then I really, really, really wanted some Onward sets, or at least some Onward minifigs, because Ben's really into that. Um, he really loved that movie, and I was like, that's so cute, because it's like, oh, it's like brothers, and like, it reminds me of me and my brother. I was like, oh, nice. Like, he really got into that movie, so I would love some mini things to kind of give to him. <laughs> um, da -da -da. There's a place in the UK called Melbourne, too. It's in Cambridgeshire. Simon, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I feel like you find a lot of places around the world in the UK. We have a Dunkirk as well, but obviously that's not actually what the French call it, but... We have a Dunkirk, like, right next to me, near to us. And then there is, like, Petit France. And then, like, I went to Worcester over the weekend and somebody's like, Oh, I live in Worcester in the UK, in the US! I was like, yes. This is what I wish that people, when they went over, were slightly more creative, just kept the names that things already had, because that would have been slightly more useful. But no, now there's just lots of, lots, lots of different ones. <laughs> Abby said I always call it wrong Melbourne at the start. <laughs> Um, Christian M said, we now have a hobby, but we have no money. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, two years ago when I said I really want a hobby, um, finances were different. <laughs> Look, it's, I think, I think it's a trade-off that's worth making. I am very happy with this hobby. To money is totally overrated. Right? 
right? Um, <clears throat> and the Aladdin and Jasmine was an, was set was a mini doll one. Yeah, they all this one was always a mini doll set ones. Just sad. I really want some proper Lego ones. Sorry, there are proper Lego ones, but I want like actual minifigures, like the CMF. Um, do you have any interest in the Lego Disney Castle? Yes, I like not the Frozen one. Um, I'm not that fussed about that one, but I really want the big Disney Castle because it is beautiful and fantastic, and I want it in my collection. But because it's been three hundred, like it's been, it is three hundred pounds. That's kind of what's putting me off. Or at least what's like delaying my purchasing of it because it's just it's like one leap too far basically. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually, I'm sure, but I'm worried it's gonna retire by the end of the year. So I feel like I kind of need to get onto it. But oh, well, I don't know that. I it's just me speculating. I feel like it's one of those it's been around for a long time. If I want it, I probably should get on it, but I also want a second diagonally, and I haven't yet won the lottery, which is definitely stopping some of these plans from being implemented. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, just completed the first wave of the video band wave. Oh, nice one, Abby. That's really cool, actually. I haven't, I've decided not to get all of them, but I have some of the ones that I wanted. I still want some of the actual proper ones that came out of the, the like individual standalones, but I have the party llama. I have the Banshee, I have the Wolf, and I have the Mohawk Shark, because they were some, those are my favourite ones. But I still want the, like, um, cheerleader, with the really cool hairpiece, and I want the Candy Princess to add to it, because they're really cute. Um, yes, a Luca set. Yeah, I would love one. I still have to watch it. We actually have Disney Plus at the minute. Sorry, my hair is falling out. Um, yes, we have the, uh, we have Disney Plus, but we really need to watch it, because... I feel like it's more of a weekend thing, like we need to probably sit down for it with some popcorn and just watch it. So there is that. I want the castle to build, then pull apart for the costume shop, says Abby. Yeah, I feel like that's possibly, if I got it, what I would do as well. Just because I haven't really got room for the castle, but like the costume shop I could like integrate into the city. Also, I probably would, even if I was planning on keeping it as the castle after, I probably would buy the instructions for the costume shop anyway and build it regardless just to have the experience because building alternate ones is really fun. I st I'm yet to buy the instructions for the pet shop, like the alternate ones, because I just want to have the experience of building more sets, it's just so much fun. Um, I switched from fountain pens to this. If I sold some of those, I might be able to get some modulars I want. That or my mountain of, ja uh, of yarn. Oh, um, do you know a podcast called The Pen Edict? Um, Abby. <laughs> I'm not into pens myself, but I really like the host, Mike, and I've been listening to this show even though I have like zero interest in pens, but if you like pens, I feel like that's something you may have listened to. Um, very random for people that aren't into podcasts, nor pens. Um, <laughs> Christian M says, I admire your strength being able to stick to your budget. I need to be more like that. I mean, there's also the point that I'm like trying to actually start a, an adult life with like buying a house and getting married and stuff so like there's also a certain amount of we just need to but you know there is definitely days where I was like I would really like to just spend all my money right now but then I took myself out of those moments <laughs> those moments are dangerous <laughs> do not listen <laughs> um. hmm. I need the bricks that I bought. Where are these bricks? I need some one two by two, two by two corner bits in dark tan. There they are. The village would be really cool, Said. Like they, that would be because it's so pretty anyway. But then have you seen obviously it's not the same, but have you seen the um Phoen Phoenician modulars that are coming as part of the brick um the bricklink thing, because they they could be mocked into like a Luca thing. Where did this go? One minute. One moment. One moment. Where does this go? And which? Where did I just see the brick I needed? There. Mm -hmm. Purple Shroom currently working on the Harry Potter Quidditch mock. It's been a nightmare to get the Quidditch team and, and all the pieces. Um, yes, I tried doing that. Um, it took ages. Actually, I have. 
I'm going to show you only six players because the seventh player is on a broom um, as part of the mock. But here's my whole Quidditch team my, minus um, Wood, Ooh. who is currently on his broom. This is based of the scene where Ron makes himself eat slugs, so it's like the second year team. So we've got Alish, uh, Angelina Johnson, we've got Katie Bell, who has a temporary face at the minute. I have the correct face, but um, I wanted to keep her complete. Two, uh, Fred and George Weasley, who have the shorter hair. I feel like maybe I need to give them a longer hair, but I quite like this. Got Katie Bell, but Katie Bell's design is based off um, her appearance in the, set, in the sixth movie and in Harry Potter. And then I have a complete Quidditch team as well, minus... Um, actually, I can show him too. I know it doesn't focus, but... Um, I've got a complete Quidditch team now as well, which is just like random men. <laughs> at this point. Though there is like that, um, oh I always remember, forget his name. What is the like Quidditch? Is it Marcus Flint? No, maybe. Um, and Draco and then just a few other ones. Basically the hair colours of this team is based off that same Eat Slugs scene. So that's kind of what I have. It's the old design um, Malfo hair as well. So it's not like the very blonde new Lego colour. So they were easier to get because it's just like generic men faces. I think if you were to want to get a bit more specific later on, it's a bit harder. Um, but I've given up on my thought of having a whole Ravenclaw or um, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff thing because like the torsos were just going to get way too expensive. But yes, that's what I did. Um, anybody else working on a mock right now? I think the costume shop is one of the better all builds. It's a shame there's so many pieces left over at the end. Um, I won't. I wouldn't know how much. I mean, there is a lot of pieces in the in the Disney castle that seem really specific for like a castle build, especially the longer ones. Like, how are you going to reuse them? They're really specific. Um, I've done. I really like the modular all build for surprise, surprise. The uh, pub, and also I really love the European Jazz Cafe. They are really fantastic. Obviously, there's bricks left over at the end as well, but like definitely not that many. Um, and I'm really excited to try the Pet Shop alternate build, but yeah, the costume shop would be cool to try. It's one of those well-known ones. Where was I in the chat? Oh, bye everyone. Bye, Briggs of the Dread. Briggs of the Dead. <laughs> See you later. Great name. I said that earlier. <laughs> Um, Quidditch is coming home. <laughs> um, Abby says Ravenpuff. Ravenpuff. Yeah, I should make that. Um, Purple Shroom, I'm also working on a Hogsmeade mock as well. Oh yes, actually talking about Hogsmeade mock. I think on my previous stream, I said I'm planning on possibly mocking my own Zonkos, but then I saw a really awesome mock by Ben Builds Lego, which is for a Zonko, but it's kind of using the bricks that you get, get in the Hogsmeade set and just adding a few like red bricks to kind of make the Zonko, and I was like, that's really cool. I like that thought a lot because I kind of was planning on getting a second Hogsmeade at some point anyway, so I was like, do you know what? That sounds perfect. I will definitely get... Um, I'll probably do that because that sounds a really achievable, relatively cheap way of getting um, getting a really cool song case mark. So I'm planning on putting that in. Um, I wrote the house part of the bookshop apart and I'm trying to make it bigger. Likely to need more turquoise. I mean, Abby, you're likely to need more turquoise if you... That's that's a lot of turquoise <laughs> in that building. I think you're not going to be able to get away with it without it, to be honest. Right, um, I have once again just talked for a long time. I should now again take my moment of silence to find the bricks that I need for the next step and then we will check back in with you because that's the only way I'm going to progress. I've only built so far, I've only built 10 steps which is pathetic and therefore I need to do better. Well, I need a 2x4, 2x4 black. Stuff is everywhere. Stuff is everywhere. Hmm. Hair is everywhere as well. Jesus Christ. It's like I'm shedding so much. These. That one, that one. These two. Two white ones. There we go. 
And that's 2 by 4 black. Let's see if I have it in my collection. Plates. 2 by 4 black. No. Hmm. No. No is the answer to have I got that in my collection. But surely I have that somewhere. Oh, it's, it's been in this bag all along. Great. It's been in this bag all along, people. Fear not, I have found. I was correct at ordering bricks. I was just not good at opening my eyes to actually find it. But then, does that really come as a surprise? Debatable, debatable. So warm, so warm. Um, Luke had a little bit more of a different animation style with the cars in a toy shop and Brave, etc. Um, Luke and a butcher and Julia look really different than that. I don't know, that was a sorry, I should have read that louder or not at all, but that was a response to something else. Two sets of everything, gang. <laughs> I definitely will want to get the second half of the mead. It's my favourite set of this wave. I think it's closely full followed by the Chamber of Secrets at this point, actually, because I do really like the Chamber of Secrets. Um, I didn't feel like I had enough to say about it to, like, do a proper, like, standalone review. Um, so I'm just trying to make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Um, yeah, I didn't really feel like I had enough to say to do a proper standalone review, but I'm planning on, like, doing some mocks to my Hogwarts layout, which I've been planning for a while and probably been saying about it for a while too. But um, I feel like in that at that point I can probably talk about it a little bit more. Right, I have done step 89, well done. Back pad. Now I need to go on to step 90. And I need bricks for that step. I require bricks that include this brick, Ooh, not that one, this one, a one by four white, which I feel I ordered. Maybe. Have you seen a Ninjago Temple of Aijutsu? I have seen a Ninjago Temple of Aijutsu. It looks uh, fantastic. Like, really, really good. And I've had the chance to buy it because the person that sold me the brick banks had a Temple of Aijutsu and I was very, very tempted. I didn't get it because it was another £200 and I did not think I could afford that compared to everything else I was contemplating, but it is one majestic set. Um, and by the time I came to pick it up, he'd already sold it to somebody else anyway, so I, it's fine, it works out. But yeah, I have seen it, I have admired it. It was very good. Um, I need this one, and I need the printed slate with the sort of like, um, calculatory thing on it. Ooh, and I need this little lock that goes here. Ooh. Right. Don't think I've seen that, but I have it somewhere because I remember picking it up and thinking, huh, how did I not include that? So I've now found that and added it. Yes, it sticks out like that. Good to know. I've never added that little slopey slope. So I can do that now. Right. Hold up. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Looks the same as the picture. Yay. Looks the same as the picture. Winning. Winning at life. Um... <laughs> Let me see, I've missed some comments, people talk about sets. I need to get some water actually. Hold up, hold up. Ben! Yeah. Me, may I have some water please? Yeah. Um, my water bottle may be in the office. Thank you. Ah. Um. Two sets of everything. Maybe Lekka can do a face for Luca. Oh, okay, sorry, that was a, a reply again. Uh, I've put together two minifigs and I'm not streaming. I have no excuse. 
Um, I'm not sure my credit card would agree to getting two sets of everything. I would love to get two sets of everything though. That would be fantastic. I mean, at this point I own two brick banks, which... <sighs> Insane. Um, a very sweet set uh, Sesame Street double up. Ooh, I'd love to... I think Sesame Street mocking it into... Based on one set, mocking it into a modular building makes it really small. So I feel like that's a perfect set to get two of if you're really fond of Sesame Street. Water? Water? It's coming. It's coming! Sorry, I'm getting distracted because my, my mouth is really dry. Thank you! Do you want to wanna wave hi? Hello. <laughs> Then in the background. <laughs> Yay. I, I'm skipping lots of questions or things that I will get to in a minute, but hey, guess who just received our diploma, says Francie. Yay! Well done, Francie! Woo! Woo! So proud! Okay, everybody needs to congratulate Francie on her diploma. High school diploma, well, A levels diploma at this point. I think if you compare it to UK rates, very good. Um, t -t 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 Would you be collecting the Marvel Disney Plus CMF wave when they release in September? Um, we'll have to see. I am not a completionist when it comes to the CMF, um, so I think I'll definitely get the ones that I like, um, or at least like attempt to get the ones that I like. But I don't know if I'm gonna get like everything, because like for example, I'm. S I mean, maybe if I watch more of Loki, I'll be more interested in some of the other ones I've seen. But like, I'm not that fussed about the Spider-Man or anything, or like um, the ones from like the Soldier, um, uh, Captain America and the Wind. No, which what the hell is it called? It is Captain America and the Winter Soldier, right? Sorry, my hair is just falling out and it's itchy. Um, so yeah, I think I'll get some for sure, but like, I don't think I'll get the whole thing. Um. I'm off to bed. Enjoy the rest of the stream and built the last set, of course. Okay, thank you so much, Miles Bricks. Thanks for joining. It was really nice to have you here. Matthew Kowalski, hello, welcome to the stream. Thoughts on the Mega Blocks Game of Thrones set? The Drogon set, um, go figure, looks kind of great and it's relatively cheap on eBay. So I went to, I think, I think like, um, who is it called? Jang's Bricks review of like comparing dragons between the two came up on my stream and I, on my, my YouTube dash dashboard. And I clicked on it because I was like really intrigued by that dragon. I thought it looked really good. So then I found out it was Mega Blocks. I was like, oh, Mega Constructs? It's Mega Blocks, okay. Um, I get confused which one's which. And I found like the Game of Thrones sections and I had a look at it and there was like the Drogon set wasn't on there. So I haven't actually looked at it in detail, but it looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I've been really tempted by the Pokemon sets that they do. Um, like especially the smaller ones, but I can't figure out what the quality of them is and I can't figure out what the size of them is because they haven't actually got the small little Pokemon sets in shops, but I'm actually quite interested in getting them for Because I thought it'd be quite fun to have some Pokemon like it in the city like, you know, I don't know. That was my thought um, Everybody said hi to you Ben <laughs> He can't hear me. I think he's gone downstairs um, So yes, I I think the price of them are decent as well so I'm, I'm i'm tempted to try the mega blocks like pokemon ones but i'm gonna only try it when i have leftover budget which haha so far is not really uh, i'm not really on track for leftover budget um seems like a crazy thing to say or want um hello kimberly and hello welcome to the stream i just saw you brightest witch breaks hydrate break absolutely gotta gotta hydrate you know how is the build for the treehouse? Is it worth it? I love the treehouse. It's really, really great. Admittedly, I need to keep building this, by the way. Um, admittedly, the adding of the leaves at the end can hurt your hands a little bit, but it makes such a beautiful display. And also, when I have friends come over and like look at my Lego, the, the treehouse set is the first one they see because that's sitting in the hallway, and everybody loves it. I think it's a fantastic set. I love how detailed the interiors are of the little like um, houses. Personally, massive, massive fan of it. I would, I think it's beautiful and I would definitely say it's it's worth the money. It's not actually that much money either, I don't think, compared to how big, like it feels really big when it's built. So yeah, I think it's fantastic. Um, obviously, 
I have heard some people that found the build not very enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. I love the little tree houses themselves. They're so, so, so cute. Um, <laughs> yay, everybody's congratulating Francie for her diploma. <laughs> Bronx has got to go, but I'll watch the rest of the stream tonight. Congrats on a new membership. And hi, Ben. <laughs> Thanks so much, Bronx. Lovely seeing you pop in. Um, congratulations on the diploma, Francie. See, everybody loves it. <laughs> um, Francie's my sister, by the way. <laughs> Um, or oh, I'm assuming it is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, this mem this person's name is this, the account of my sister. <laughs> um, so he says, was everyone, um, has anyone watched a YouTube series called The Villain's Lair? It's from Patty Cake Productions, and a show with original music and storyline based on the Disney villain seeking revenge. I recommend. I have not seen that. I'll try and remember and see if I can check it out. Christian says, the UCS gun chip is rumoured to be revealed tomorrow. Over 3k pieces. Oh my god, 3k pieces. I'm sure it's one you'll grab day one, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a well-known, massive uh, Star Wars fan. Jokes for those who are new to the channel. I'm not a massive fan. Um, not that I have anything against it. I just don't really know very much about it. So I don't collect it. But um, I'm not going to lie. Kind of excited to see what they've done with it. It looks really good. In like their teaser post, I was like, ooh, look at that. So um, I'm very curious to see what they've designed and look forward to seeing um, the, I'm sure, overtly positive, happy, excited and not at all controversial launch that will happen ev inevitably because that seems to just be what happens when Star Wars stuff are released. It just always seems to turn into some sort of drama. Hopefully it'll be positive this time. We'll see. I'm actually really excited for it. So yes. <laughs> Um, but no, probably won't get it. <laughs> um, I got the treehouse because I saw it in your hallway. <laughs> I take no responsibility for any money that was spent because of me. <laughs> Love the treehouse so much. Hello, Stutz Mano. I've just seen you pop into the chat. Good to have you here. I don't have the Simpsons house, so they live in... Uh, I don't have the Simpsons house, so they live in there for now. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Simpsons treehouse is kind of fun. Um, I have to check that out. So you'd, um, yeah, find me. The tree house is in my backlog. I feel like every single Lego set ever graded is in your backlog, Simon. You have a very impressive amount. Um, unfortunately, we'll be at work, Christian M, so we'll have to wait until after four. Ooh, I'm sure it'd be fantasy. Um, Hiker13, hello! So you just pop into a chat, really cool. Could the tree house be mocked into a Lord of the Rings elf house? Um... Theoretically, I feel like you could use the tree and the way it's supported, like a similar technique, but you would have to completely redo the houses because I don't feel like they're very elvish in any way, shape or form. So yeah, you'd have to redo that. But as long as you're willing to redo basically half the set, then yeah, you could, you you could, you could. Hold up, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that thing again where I'm not building, I'm just chatting for 500 years. So well, let me... Let me lower my seat, actually, because then I can see a bit better. Where is the handle? There we go. Oh. Ah. There we go. Um, and then I need to get the this piece here. And then I can move on to the next step. Yes, nearly. I still need one black tile. There we go. Do, 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 do. Grogu is Star Wars for me now. <laughs> Grogu! Um, Jana, coming in with the jokes, haha, the gunships also <laughs> just means we're closer to seeing the Harry Potter D2C. Yes, yes, though I'm still not very excited about the Harry Potter D2C because I just don't think it's something that I'll want, but I'll have to get because it will include way too many golden figures to be purchasable on their own. So, unless it's a great gods, then I'm happy. But uh, that seems very, 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 very unlikely to stay. It's just my ridiculous hope, which is founded on no information. Uh, just pure denial, really. Uh, there we go. I need one more of this, two of those, and three of those. Oh, I've, I've skipped a step. I've skipped a step. Wait, wait, hold up. Hold on to your horses, ladies and gentlemen. We have appeared to have run into a problem again. What have I done wrong? Oh, I've put this one. So this needs to go there. This needs to go there. This needs to 
sugar there. Concentration. So it actually builds. Hmm. gonna say that about Simon's backlog. Yeah, it's huge. Um, Michael, hello, welcome to the stream. Afternoon from Louisiana, love your live streams. Thank you so much. In in my live streams I talk lots and build very little, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to balance it. <laughs> um, Christian M's, how much they have a million YouTube videos about it waiting for you to get home. Yeah, you probably will. Every single YouTuber and their dog is gonna cover this. Um, Hiker 13, thanks, yeah, we're doing half the set, that's sort of my jam, maybe go outside, Harry. Yeah, 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 I mean, it would be, I mean, it would be really cool, though, if you did, like, the album thing, that, if you, if that's still what we're on about, possibly behind it at this point. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. Potter and pick the tree has up, yes. Finding Soft Frozen 2, loved it, oh my god, I still have to watch that, it's pathetic. I was gonna watch it with my sister, but then, um, there's this thing called COVID, I don't know if any of you noticed, but it's kind of stopping things from happening. So it's been two years. <laughs> um, I've got enough VIP points for $100 off. I was thinking about using it to get the roller coaster. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yes, do. Um, I've just got enough to do 50 pounds off something and I'm planning, well, 55 actually. And I want to get um, a story of Nyan. And I was thinking, because I have no August budget, if I use all my VIP points, I technically can buy it in August for free. So it's fine. I mean, I'll have to pay five pounds, but that's okay. So um, that's kind of the plan at the moment. Or I could wait and save, but that seems like that'll take a long time. <laughs> but in no way it'll take a long time. Surprising. Um, progress, progress, Johanna, come on. Um, Good evening, Johanna. Hello, Becky Ty. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you here. Um, looks like the building is coming along nicely. Good evening, chat. Uh, most of the building's progress was done before the stream started. Um, I'm not doing very well considering speed building, but hey, I'm evidently talking and entertaining and building, which never has been proven to be a good way to do quick work. But one can try. Let's move along to the next stage, which will require more bricks that are in random bags in front of me. And then need one of these. And one. Now my feet are like properly on the floor. I've noticed that I've just keep swirling around. I'm sorry. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Anybody else? If you're on like a swivel chair, do you also swim swivel around a lot? Can you also not help yourself? Wait, what? Wait, what? Have I skipped a step? I'm confused. What have I done wrong? Help! What have I done wrong, guys? I feel like this is maybe not a step that I should have done now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm with it. I missed a step in between here, so this, these need to go here, and then this needs to go on top, and this can sit flush. And now this diamond is, wait, ah, this is what happens when you do things wrong. There we go, there we go, go, okay, now this can go back in, now the diamonds can go back in without being crushed or stopping my build from happening. There we go. Yes, it is correct now. Um, I love the Nyan dragon, I wish I could have it as a pet. <laughs> I feel like having a dragon for a pet would be slightly space impeding, but probably keeps your life interesting, not gonna lie. It is really cool. It's it's just one of those sets that, or every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I want it, but like, I'll get it later. 
So I felt like it's probably quite a good one to get for VIP points because I seem to always talk myself out of it if I have to actually spend money on it. So that's why. And I really regretted missing out on the lion. Well, I didn't regret, like I basically didn't have a lot of time when I found out that I wanted them because it was like a month and then all the stores closed before I could get it. So that's why I missed out on it. But um, I was sad when I missed out on the lion dance. So yeah, I need some water. Great pieces in an iron set. Um, I tore it down but kept the dragon. I'm planning or maybe using it to kind of... So I have my... Um, we need a poo tree, like over there in the city. And then there is like the wall. Um, but the road goes off into nothing and I thought maybe I could like, instead of actually having the wall there, build the Nyan set against it. So there's like a, an actual like Lego wall instead, which may give the illusion that it like continues behind. So that's kind of what I'm planning on doing, but I'm not entirely sure yet. But Bricksworth is always expanding. Um, also, something that's on my wish list, maybe I'll get it for like my birthday or something, but I really want to get some more of like the lit up street lights. So instead of actually getting a light kit for the whole, for a whole modular, because at this point I own quite a lot of like mocked mod modulars, so there's no point. I thought if I just get lots of um, white light up street lights, I will have that illusion of lights very quickly and easily and relatively cheaply. Because at the moment the only two places that have lights are Assembly Square and the prison restaurant. Um, so I felt like if I have more lit up lanterns at least I can bring lights to every bit of the city. And that would be really exciting. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but I just keep <laughs> keep adding plans to the list. And the list keeps on growing but my budget is shrinking at the same time. So this is all like... If I tell you a plan, expect it to take a long time. <laughs> basically. Um, my cats keep my cat keeps trying to chew on my leg of bonsai tree like it's a real plant. <laughs> Look, it's it fooled your cat. Yo, it's fooled your cat. <laughs> that must be really inconvenient. Um, <laughs> um, wait, what? I'm confused. Deja vu from Fork Stream. <laughs> I might buy the space shuttle. Yes, that would be a cool set. Loving the Lego City so far, Heidi Toys, just shows to, goes to show what you can fit in a lovely tiny space. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm kind of proud of how far it's gotten, to be honest. Because even when I got my first few modulars, I never really set out to build the city so like so much. I just really liked the buildings and I just bought a few modulars. And then I had them all sitting against the wall. And then I, the new road plates came out and I was curious about them. So I was like, oh, I'll get the road plates and I'll put them in front and that looks nice. And it kind of just evolved from there because really, when you look back at videos from like January, I didn't really have a city then. So I'm actually quite pleased how it's like evolved out. And like the best, the thing that makes me happiest is when I get like messages from people that are like, oh my gosh, I felt so inspired by your video because I didn't think I had enough room to do a city and now I feel like I can. I'm like, yes. Ever, regardless of your space, you can always have a city. Believe in yourself. So that's like, that makes me so, so happy because more Lego cities and happiness around the world is a good thing. Gotta, gotta have that more. So thank you. That makes me very happy. <laughs> um, I have 240 pounds of VIP points, but I spent them a few weeks back on a daily bugle. 240 pounds of VIP points. I'm not envious. I'm very envious. I mean, I know that you don't have them anymore, but that's uh, that's insane. Wow. Um, Matthew said, Spring Lantern Festival set, thoughts. I like it, but not sure, especially with all the other sets priced near it, including Star Wars ships. Okay, so I'm not into Star Wars, so that helps with like managing spending. I love the Spring Lantern Festival. I think it's my second favorite one of the, like it's my second favorite of the um, Chinese like New Year sets because I really love Temple Fair. I think Temple Fair is beautiful, but like I re the fact that um, the Spring Lantern Festival is modular is fantastic. So if you have a city or you want to have like a lovely, detailed, different looking, colorful park, I think it's perfect. The amount of minifigs that come with it is fantastic. Also, it's quite um, in demand. Actually. When I was watching Brixie's video the other day, um, they had them on offer in Canada in the large Lego sco store in Edmonton because they were like, there was like a banner underneath them that were on offer. But actually, in the UK, I've, in the Bristol store, I should say, um, they didn't have any last time I was there, so it seemed to kind of be sold out there because I know that they will retire at the end of this year anyway. So, if you're unsure but you'd like to have it to your set, I think pick it up. If you're unsure, I would still say 
pick it up but don't open it because these sets tend to like increase in value because they only have a one year shelf life if you kind of realize in like seven months time actually I, I don't want to sell I'm not that fast you can always sell it because they kind of keep their value quite well so I would that's kind of my recommendation for it I'm not a Lego investor this is just like what I think don't take my word for it necessarily but that's kind of what I personally probably would do but I love it so that's it was a day one purchase for me so I'm, that's where I'm coming from um, <laughs> Abby says it's still together <laughs> that's high praise indeed Breaky tie, uh, it's a day one for me, I think. Oh, is anybody getting the new uh, pickup truck that's going to be released soon as well? I think that's... Is it pre-orders in the UK yet? I know it's pre-orders in Canada at the moment, but... Um, I don't think I'll get it because I haven't got any of the vehicles because they just take up lots of space, but it looks really good. I love those, like, accessories to every season. It's beautiful. Um, tiny is a challenge, big is too easy. <laughs> Christian M, I really like that pickup truck much more than a new camper van. Yes. I actually really like the new camper van too, but I, you know. It's because it's, I, I look at them from like, a, oh yeah, that's nice, but I'm never, I'm not interested in buying them. So it's, it, I guess my perspective is a bit different. Da, 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 da. Oh, the same channel I mentioned, Brick Yo-Yo, he did a mirrored build of the Lantern Festival. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, actually. I've done a few, I've been considering a few, doing a few mirrored builds because of corner building sometimes needing to be um, mirrored, but at the moment everything works out. Mirrored builds are like, don't do those in the evenings because you'll just get yourself really confused. Honestly, okay, I need to be quiet again for one second and actually build because... It's taking over 300 years for me to build another step. That one there. I need a 1.4 and a 1.2. This one here. I haven't even done one bag on stream. That's just... I feel like that's a new level of pathetic. How long have I been streaming for? Oh my gosh. I've been streaming for an hour and a half and I haven't even done half of a bag. That's... Wow, Johanna. Wow. How do you manage that? Insane. I feel like because people know me building on stream, they won't ever believe this, but I'm actually a really quick builder <laughs> when I'm not on stream. So in a way, streaming and building is really good for me because it means that all my builds take longer and I get to enjoy them for longer. Because I, I rinse through these builds if I just do them off stream. Abs Briggs, hello! Lovely to see you here. Hope you're doing very well. Stel says I drove by one of those pickup trucks in real life today. <laughs> just teasing that you should get the Lego set, of course. That's what's happening there. Um... <laughs> Brick Bank, is, Brick Bank is an awesome set. So yeah, I, I said this at the beginning of the stream, but um, this is actually the second one, because I've already built the first one, it's up there. Um, actually, I, I was I was gonna do this on stream, but I don't think I'll get this far, but I have a mock plan for the, for the set I'm keeping, which will involve making it taller, but I need the second set first to kind of try it out. But I have a plan, which I think will be quite fun to do. So um, that will be in my upcoming video, well upcoming video it isn't, but like that will be in my video soon as well. Because I am very excited about it and I think it will make, because I've, I've always really loved the Brick Bank, but I've always felt that because it's trying to be a really imposing, Georgian, fantastic building, it's, well, imposing building, because it's a bank and stuff. It, it just doesn't seem tall enough for it. It just kind of, it feels really st stubby because it's really, it's very square basically. And generally all the modulars have like interesting architectural features to kind of break the roof line a little bit. But this one's really square, especially because mine is currently sitting, I keep looking up there because that's where it is. Um, it's currently sitting next to the pet shop and townhouse, which are also the same height. So actually the roof line is really straight, which is slightly boring. So I've always said with the brick bank, point one, I never thought I was actually going to get it because it's one of those really expensive modulars. But um, I've always said I would like to make it taller and I think I know how I'm gonna do that. So um, because I am super, super lucky and I have a second set to try it with, um, that will be really helpful. Oh my gosh, I can feel my, my throat is going. Blech. 
I just noticed that the tree house is $170 at Walmart um, for your USA guys. In my head I was like, oh that's only £10 off, and then I was like, wait, this is in, this is in dollars. <laughs> that must be quite a lot of, so, good point, I like the 13. Uh, Bricky Ty, I've done a mirror build of a Creator 3 in one toy shop set, harder than it looks. <laughs> Honestly, mirror builds are just a strenuous exercise on the brain. Especially if they want you to take like a smaller build and then do that away from the actual main build because I'm halfway through you forget you're doing it in mirror and then you have to go back to wherever you went wrong. It's, um, it's hard. It's fun though. I feel like I'm really blind, or I've not done a very good job. One by two, light bluish grey. There it is. Just blind then. Good, good. Ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that I am going to be turning a page. I know, it's only happened once, twice before in the stream, but I'm doing it. Hey! It's easy to uh, stand a mirror on the instructions. <laughs> wow, that's actually a really interesting thing. Is that easier? Does that work? Bricky tie, let me know. Um, I haven't tried it, lol, but may give it a go. Good idea. <laughs> Well, Simon Moss, I think if you try it, you have to let us all know if that's a good idea for mirror builds. Um, Abby says, but you're a delayed, Johanna. If you and Ben ever get go to the States, there's always a place for you. Not far, too far from Disneyland and Universal either. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's really lovely. We'd love to go to the States. I think we were talking about this last time. Um, Ben's been to the States six or seven years ago. He went to California because... Um, He's like a scooter rider and he had a few people that he knew there and um, it was kind of like a trip of a lifetime thing. Um, but I've never been. I've been to Canada when I was nine and I didn't actually speak English. So I stayed with like relatives. So they were like my dad's aunt and uncle and they live near Toronto. But at the time I don't un didn't understand like cultural difference or language differences. I was just visiting some random people and saw a really big waterfall which was exciting. And we climbed a big tower. So... I was a bit too young really to fully appreciate it, I think, but I would really, really love to go to the States just because I like you hear about it so often and I know so many people from the States, I really would have loved to have been there because I feel like you never get to fully understand and appreciate a country and I, I appreciate that the USA is massive, so it's hard to do that in a trip either, but it would just be nice to have been there. So um, one day, one day we were really hoping to be able to make it there. And because there's so many awesome Lego people out there, it'd be really cool to do like something Lego related to. Imagine doing a Lego themed road trip. If anybody else watches em um, Emily from Emmasaurus, I'm so envious every time I see a bricks and minifigs. So I was like, oh my god, like we could just do like a bricks and minifigs tour, that'd be amazing. But then the really massive downside is that we'd be on holiday, so it would be restricted how much we could buy and bring back. Um, because of space and suitcases and stuff, but you know, drawbacks. <laughs> um, right, I've built, I've built the little laundry thing with all the, with the secret place where you can put like your money in and like the, the folds at the back. So let's place that into the module itself. Ta -da! And then let's continue building because we need to make some visual progress to this build. <laughs> Because everybody in this, in this um, chat has just been like, um, are you even building? <laughs> Who knows? Uh... <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Tom, hello Tom, I've just noticed you're in the chat, welcome. On top of, of enjoying builds, I recently realised something that's really refreshing about your channel. How you seem to squeeze all possible enjoyment out of every set. <laughs> I really try. <laughs> I just want to make, I make the build progress go as long as I can, but you know, it's an expensive toy to be into, so you may as well enjoy it for as long as you can. Um, I really like, and I, I haven't done it for a little while actually, but I love knolling, so um, I love knolling when I have the time, to be fair, and the space to do it, but um, I've knolled, I, if you don't know what it is, it's basically sorting all your pieces, 
and I nulled the bags, like the different stages for assembly square. So if you go back onto my feed on Instagram, like all the way back, there's some like really big layout pictures where I did that with um, assembly square because that's in, that was in October. So that was before I had a new job. So I was like really limited on what I could buy, especially. So that was like a really big purchase and it was really exciting. So I wanted to like basically save for that build for as long as I could. And I spent like an actual whole day, like a whole week building it. Obviously I was doing things in the day, but like every evening I was doing it and it took so very long, but it was so much fun. Um, but thank you, that's a really lovely thing to say. Um, <laughs> Johanna being distracted by the chat, we need Ben back. <laughs> I did try, but he was really tired because he's been like, um, he's been working all day and he was, I got a message at like midday saying like, I feel like I need a nap. I was like, already? It's literally 12 o'clock. <laughs> so, bless him, he needed a little day off, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's literally one good thing about Florida, it's 122 pounds. I don't know, I've, I've missed what the 122 pounds for is. Um, I have to go, but I'll be back soon. Nice talking to everyone. See you later, Saeed. See you in a minute, probably. Um, <laughs> have you got Stranger Things set as purple shrimp? I don't. No, sorry, I'm really warm. Jesus. I feel like I need to open the window, but the, the um, neighbours have music playing, so we can't do that. But I need, like, a fan. But the fan makes noise. Oh, well. Um... <laughs> Um, so, oh yeah, yeah, I just no I noticed a chat. He said, have you got the Ch Stranger Things sets? No, I don't have the, uh, the set. I have admired it many a time though, because it does look really fantastic, but I have not uh, purchased it. I'm not a fan of Stranger Things, because I am unable to commit to series, apparently, <laughs> and therefore I haven't watched it. But it looks really cool. I love the monster design. I have some of the parts because you can buy some of the minifigure parts off uh, Lego Bricks and Pieces. So I have some of the faces because I thought they'd be quite handy for like, um, for like figures in like Diagon Alley and stuff. So I have some of their faces. Actually, if you want, and if you don't want to buy the whole set, I feel like this probably is known, but if you don't want to buy the whole set, if you want the 11 minifigure, every single piece that makes up her minifigure is actually available on Lego Bricks and Pieces. Hey, Gorgas Studios, how are you doing? Good to see you here as well. How are you, um, how are you going to, are you going to rebuild the massive mock? Are there instructions for your friend's big mock? Um, so no, there aren't any instructions. Um, this is just something he'd build himself, um, just for fun, <laughs> like he did with all of his modulus. Um, but I am gonna, I've basically decided that I'm going to probably sell the second set just because um, as much as I would really love a really big brick bank, I need the funds more than I do the brick bank. But I'm still planning a mock on the brick bank I'm keeping, um, which will cost some money, but it won't cost as much money as like an individual brick bank is worth. So I'm likely to sell it. Um, as much as that was a really tricky decision, you know, I do, I do like to keep both, but I think it's more sensible to sell. Who knows, maybe in a month's time, I'm like, I can't let go of it, guys, I want to keep it. We'll have to find out. <laughs> um, Lego YouTube channel is going to premiere a video called USS Gunship Reveal. It's in 20 hours and 100 people are watching. <laughs> Those 100 people are very, very keen. But yes, so I saw the teaser post that Lego put out for it. So there's a hype train, guys. We need to get on it. Hello, Bailey. Hello. Welcome to this stream. I don't think I've seen you here before. Lovely to have you here. I am having a wonderful evening there, I'm very very warm, but I'm building Lego and I'm talking to very lovely people, so of course my evening is going very well. I hope yours is too. Um, I'm just trying to focus on actually getting a few bricks put onto the set, because as everybody in the chat knows, I am distracting myself a lot by going off on tensions on questions that you guys are asking, <laughs> but I should probably also build a little bit. There we go. And then these two, two of those, two of those, and then one, one with the stud in the middle. Yes. And then eight of the one by fours. Gosh, eight is a lot. Uh, like these, like that. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. My first 
stream, yes, but a long time channel watcher. Oh, that's awesome, Bailey. No, very nice to have you here, actually. And thank you for the continued support. Really appreciate it. Um, there you go. Oh, thanks, guys, for saying welcome. It's really nice of you guys. I see channel, uh, channel E4 are starting to promote Lego Masters Australia coming soon to the UK. Are they? Oh! Oh, that's cool. I haven't actually finished watching the USA first one yet. I should probably do that. We were def But then I actually started watching that quite religiously and then I think we just forgot that that was something we were watching. So we need to, we need to get back on that. Because that was really fun to watch. I do love Lego Masters. It's such... It's so... I don't know, it's just like dramatic, but like in a sort of nearly wholesome way. I don't know if that makes sense, but I do love watching that. Sorry, I'm also thinking and building at the same time. There we go. Right, I'm gonna open the door a little bit because I am melting. Melting, melting. Oh my gosh. Oh. Why does it get so warm when I'm streaming? It makes no sense. I'll ask other streamers. Is it just a lot of the universe or is it just because I'm actively talking and building and all of those things and that's physical exertion that evidently is too much for me? Um. <laughs> right. Is, any, is anybody else building anything right now? I'm just watching the stream in the background. It's, I tend to always like do things. I have a lot of streams on in the background. I'm definitely like a stream lurker. So I'm, I'm trying to like get to the point now where I'm like always saying hi when I join streams because I used to always just sit in the background and nobody would know I'm there. But I feel like I need to say hi so people know that like at least I'm there lurking in the background. <laughs> but I love just having like people on in the background listening to them. <laughs> Alright, two more of these. And then I have completed step 103. This is going well. Lego Masters is very fun, but there is an issue. Whomever is sorting the pieces for the brick pit sends more time than the editors of the program. <laughs> yes, that's actually a really good point. I've never really thought about that. I, I would love to... Honestly, if I could just spend a day on like, or even just like a few hours on the like Lego Master set, how awesome would that be? Just like, here Johanna, go, go spend some time there and build some stuff, have fun. like dream that would be amazing anybody can make that happen thanks so much <laughs> joking of course that probably won't happen but that would be really cool nonetheless okay right focus on the fix you need i need 16 of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14. I think I bought two, pretty sure I did. I'll find them in a minute. 14 right now, five of the corner. One of the, one of the grippy grippies. One of this. I'm not building but sorting parts out for a recent Bricklink, for recent Bricklink orders, getting tedious lol. Have you got a Brickling store, um, Bricky Tie? I don't know. I've always wondered about it because it always seems like such a lot of work for like not that much money. But I really appreciate, I mean, I really, really appreciate all the Brickling sellers because without them, you know, I couldn't get all the parts that I need. But it seems quite a lot of work. Um, especially if people like me order who just order for £20. Hmm. <laughs> Love your monkey kid rebuild. Have you ever considered doing something similar with the Lego friends? I've been building my city for three years, but recent friends that have worked well as modulus. Ooh, that's really cool. Int that's a good point, actually. I don't own any friends set. I know there are some really cool facades. I think generally the colours put me off a little bit, because I just find them like, I don't really like the pink and purples. But maybe it would look really cool. 
I'll have to think about it. That's definitely something I could do. Also, especially because actually, generally when there's bulk Lego on, for sale in like my local area, it's always a lot of friend sets, and for some reason they just don't go for as much money. So actually, it may be like a relatively cost-effective mod to do. I, don't, I have too many plans, <laughs> but excellent thoughts actually. Thanks for sharing. Um, it's boiling where I am, fellow UKers. We need to, yeah, I've got my duvet in on the bed and we probably need to take that off because I feel like it's going to be a bit too much for tonight. Bailey says I'm deconstructing at the moment, moving out my university accommodation in two days so it's all coming down. Oh my gosh, that must be a lot of work. Um, moving always. I, I say to you guys, like, we want, Ben and I are, like, wanting to move and, like, want to buy a house, which is obviously not happening anytime soon, but um, just the thought of having to move my Lego room is not an appealing one because everything in here is kind of made in the way that I have it because of the size of the room and the shape. So, like, having to redo that in a whole new room is just going to take so much time and money. So... <laughs> That, that thought is not the most exciting. <laughs> but you know, change may be good, especially if it's a bigger room. Bag one of set 60258, tuning workshop here. Cute little cars. Oh, that does look really good. I found that in a, um, in a toy shop over the weekend actually. I didn't buy it, but I saw it there and it looked quite nice. It has a lot of really good pieces, I like really cute builds. So, I had a little look, thought, huh, I could get that, and I didn't, luckily, because I knew double VIP point was literally happening on the Monday, so I was good. But I'm doing a, I'll release a little vlog of our weekend. It's not massively Lego related, but we had a really lovely weekend where we went on lots of UK countryside adventures, so I thought it'd be quite nice to, like, do a little vlog about it, because it was just a really nice, wholesome weekend. I need one more ching thingamajig. Thingamajig. Where is there is? And a corner piece, and then I think we have done the step. Yay! It's going well, it's going well. My top floor Lego room can get so warm that it feels like a sauna, it's awful. Uh, and, then the, and then the thing skipped away. So ideal. Yeah, I mean, it has Lego. That's how ideal as well. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Just working on sorting through a £35 bulk Lego, so I just picked up. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. Hopefully it's at least clean. That's always a good start. I have Lego to build, but trying to save it, so painting at cells um, that I made from clay instead. So it's purple shroom. Um, oh, you do what I do. You're like, oh, I have Lego to build, but I don't want to build it because then it's gone. So now I'm just going to do something else instead and wish I was building Lego, which not necessarily the best thing. Amiga Man says, I'm looking at Lord of the Rings sets on eBay. I wonder who gave me the idea, Johanna. <laughs> oh my God, that basically I found a set that I really want, like a Lord of the Rings set nearish me. It's not really that near, but it's, um, it's a decent price. It's not like cheap or anything. But it's like a good enough price that it's tempting me. It's um, it's the weather top attack on weather top. I think for one hundred and ten they're asking for it, and I was like, Phew. really want that set because that has Mer. I think it has Mary in it. Has Legolas, uh, Legolas, Aragorn in it. It has two ring raids, which are really cool, and the horses. Um, and basically, I really want it so much. But as we have all just discussed, I've already spent all my budget up until um, up until September, so I probably shouldn't. So I'm being good. I'm being good. It's so cool. Also, there's a video tomorrow of another set that I definitely did buy because I had I I couldn't say no to that one, which is also another reason why I can't get this one that I've just found. But that's coming out tomorrow at 5:30 South Promo Time. Um. And I'm really, really, really excited for it because I love that set so, so, so much. It was another, like, holy grail slash white wheel set that, honestly, can't believe I found nearish to me. So, very, very excited to share that with you guys. The VIP members know. The VIP members know what I'm talking about. But, um, yes, there's a video coming tomorrow. 
I've edited it and actually when I was editing it because I filmed it like b last week or before the weekend no during last week and um I was like editing it yesterday and I was just like having a smile on my face constantly because I got really excited about it and it was kind of like reliving opening it again <laughs> and it was really nice I never I never mind editing but this was a particularly nice editing pro process look guys it's taking shape oh my god it's happening it's happening everybody stay calm mm -hmm. I've skipped on I've skipped comments again. You should buy, you should do a building in a pool stream <laughs> in our tiny little paddling pool. We took that down ages ago actually. We're probably, we're waiting for another heat wave. Maybe it's, maybe it should be coming out again soon. It's apparently meant to be like nice and warm over the next few weeks. So maybe we'll have to see. Um, if we're going to a Lego, if you were going to do a Lego masses, I'd be like, I'm going to do I'm um, sorry, I'm going to get a bit of these pieces now and then bring them home just a bit, yeah. Just, just a tiny, you know, I won't miss them, surely. I was if I just get a few, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like, honestly, also, when I watch Lego Masters though, like, I'm just in awe of these people just creating the absolute masterpieces. Like, they must, I'm assuming they like know beforehand what the theme is so they can kind of plan. But it's just so so cool to watch. I really really love it. So um, yeah, it's, um, fan it's a fantastic show to watch. It makes me really happy. And Ben likes watching it too. It's perfect. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't have a store for selling, but I log all my parts so I can see what I have for mocks. Oh my gosh, breaky tie. That's like some commitment right there. Wow. Um. Theoretically really useful to be fair. I tend to, um, I don't mock that much, but when I do mocks or like buy instructions for mocks, I do go through my collection first. And before I had a colour select, like sorted by colour, which is terrible, but actually now I've sort of sorted it on parts, it is much easier and a massive relief. Also, I've made progress, people. I've made progress. It's happening. Everybody stay calm. I think once I've built this little wall for the um, laundry thing, I think the progress is going to be quite quick for this top floor. I think I'm nearing the end of it, so that is exciting. And then we can start squaring it all off a little bit. Come on. Like this? Yes, like that. Sorry, I'm just going quiet again because I'm just focusing, focusing on building. Oh, I've, um, my comments aren't moving. That's why I was like, oh, it's all very quiet in the chat. The chat. <laughs> just built the bank myself. Now all I want to do is buy another set to get, add another floor to make a laundrette laundra mock. That's basically what this one was like because obviously I had... Um, when this was like a mock it had like a separate building that was the laundromat and then the brick bank separate as well i don't know if you watched the video where i got it but yeah it was um it was really really cool but it was way too big because it was like two and a bit base plates so considering i only actually have three base plates open at the top floor at the moment it would it would just take up too much room but it was telling it was tempting is what i meant to say that do, 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 so. <sighs> Oh, okay, my, my chat's moving so much. Sorry. I have run a brick, bricking store for a year and it's great fun. Doesn't take that much time either. Oh, JG. I have been contemplating it because it does seem like something that would be like kind of useful to run on the side because like in a way, I don't catalog everything I own at the moment, but it seems like something that's such an obvious next step to do. However, I find parting with things difficult. <laughs> So, um, at the moment, I probably won't. Oh no! So I've just realised I'm actually two of those bricks short. That's really annoying. Hmm. Not ideal, not ideal. That's gonna cause me some pain later on. 
Maybe it's a good thing that I'm such a slow builder because that's going to hold me up for a bit. But actually, I... Because I think I'll have to order a few bricks extra. I, I did think that I would have made a few mistakes. So when I ordered, I would probably would, when rebuilding, would run into a few bits that I actually didn't have. But there's a few more than I thought. So there's two actual, like, one by two bricks that are holding this up a little bit. Which is a shame. Right, I have this. What did I do? Uh, I need to look for that bracket thing. Brackety thing. I'm moving in a year and I'm already getting anxiety. Yeah, I can imagine. Honestly, the idea of moving my Lego room is just... Uh, initially we were looking to move into like the same location where we are now so like I was thinking oh it wouldn't be too bad because I could like walk things over and it'll be really safe but now we're thinking about moving a bit further away so it would have to be packed and ugh, that would be so much would not be good maybe I'll just like get lots of friends and we we'll all sit in a car and each of us can hold one modular and then they'll be safe <laughs> um Moving Lego set is tricky, especially if you don't, if you didn't build modular. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I don't think the modulars are going to be the problem. It's just like all the small sets. And if you put it back together and like, if you decorate lots with like lots of really cute details, you have to put them back and yeah, it's just, it's just the thing. Don't worry about the build, we're just here for the chat. <laughs> I often used to get free candy from sellers in China when I used to collect action figures. It seems to be a bit of a thing. I feel like candy with Brickling Gold is like a bit of an inside joke because a lot of people are saying that they're getting it. I don't know. I've only had it once, I think, but I've definitely heard that it happens. I had the same opinion of Lego Friends for a long time, but I find that more often the pink purples in the base plates are and not in the walls so easily swapped out. The fashion shop, for example. Mm, yeah, I've seen like the hotel's really nice where it's like gold. Is it a hotel that's gold and white? It looks really nice. I don't know, I feel like it's it's probably the same reason why I don't have a lot, why I only have one um, Lego City set, but they just are so basic, like, you really need to take them very, very far. For some reason, like, the ramen shop mock, like, the ramen shop little building, just sparked that, like, oh my god, I want to have this, sorry, I'm just yawning. Um, the ramen shop build for the, from the monkey kit set just, like, sparked that joy of, like, oh, I want this as a bigger thing, but, um, um, I feel like the city sets don't ever do that for me and I think the same with the friends but I feel like maybe if I saw send me some pictures on Instagram if you have some um I'd love to see what other people are doing because they are there is lots of potential there it's like taking up taking it up a notch but I have been really bad at being creative at Lego recently I mean I've, I could do small bits but I just haven't really been doing, doing a really big mock I'd love to I really want to have the time to just sit down and properly the mock sorry I'm getting a lot of messages um apologies if you can hear that in the background um, I'm still looking for recommendations for group brickling sellers in the US. Um, I reached out to a few people I trust that do a lot of mocks in the UK and they gave me lots of really good sellers actually so that was super helpful because now I have like a trusted amount like 20 or so like really good sellers that I can always rely on so between them I can always find something. But yeah I don't buy from the US I only ever buy domestic within the UK because I just shipping's expensive enough as it is let alone if it's coming from abroad. Um, I'm currently building Joga's Lowrider set from the Lego Batman movie. Oh my god, that's such a good set! That's really exciting. I hope you're having fun. Um, has anybody seen the Lego Ideas fire truck Rosen by a Panther 8x8? Uh, no? No, I don't think I have. I've seen like the leaked. Is this like a one that's on like still fundraising, Axel? Or is this the. Maybe I have seen it, actually not entirely sure at the moment. If, if this is still on Lego Ideas, then no. But I've seen a leak for a Lego Ideas gift for purchase that's coming soon, which is like a really cute sailboat, and that's looking really exciting. Um, hello, Rebecca Fix Lego! Kerry, how are you doing? Welcome! Um, Abby says, I have a metric ton of Bionicle that needs a home. Thanks, thanks to Bulk, <laughs> I can imagine. I tried sorting through Ben's brother's Lego, and um, that was way too much Bionicle. <laughs> There was just so much Bionicle. Right, let's find this bracket. I think it's here. And then I can continue. There we go. Oh my god. I'm 
so warm. I'm so warm. Ah, this is the one. So I'm just taking this apart because this is the one where I used um, a brick that wasn't the correct one. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use substitute bricks in this set here and it's going to be easier to replace later on. You can probably see what I'm doing better than I can. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. Mm -mm. German sellers sent Haribo with Brooklyn Goddess. Ah, I've never ordered from Germany is probably why. But yeah, it's definitely a thing that happens. Da, 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 da. Um, I did buy... I've, I've considered buying bulk before. Um, especially sometimes like nearby there's quite good offers for like small amounts of kids Lego. You know, when it's like lots of city and stuff. But I never really had the like space to store it in and there would probably likely be a lot of bits that I didn't need but I feel like if I ever get a bigger Lego room I'm definitely gonna get like bulk Lego because I quite enjoy like the cleaning and sorting process so yeah it's definitely gonna do something. Um, Axel I'll have a look at the fire truck then actually because that sounds really cool. Um, I'll, I'm assuming it's like just in like su like achieved support. I did buy from the EU, but not anywhere else since Brexit. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, Simon, because, like, the whole tax situation is really confusing, so I just don't. I just don't. <laughs> right, I need a brick for the building. Substitute brick. We're just going to be using this in the correct colour, but not the correct shape. Okay, it's gonna be like self promo five seconds. Gotta do this, but if you haven't liked the stream yet, please like the stream. If you wanna become a member um, or donate, links are in the description down below. That'd be really cool. If you're a member, I will add you to my membership board. There were some really lovely people that joined earlier on, so I'll be adding them on in a minute as well. Um, or, there we go. So yes, if you want to do any of those things, links are in the description of the stream and do like. Okay, self program 10 seconds over. <laughs> I need to get better at this. I never really know how to introduce these things. But you know, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> um, just finish that work thing. I'm very good, I'm very good now. Not so much an hour ago, lol. <laughs> Fair enough. Hope it wasn't too bad. Okay, I need to find that piece and then the white one by one that goes on top. Why don't I have any of those bits in my actual sorting tray? How did I miss all of those? How interesting. Let's go through all my separate bricks that I ordered as spares or replacement. Um, Hmm. Ah, okay, things are falling out. I haven't got either of those things, so either I've missed them. Evidently something went wrong when I was sorting through all of this because I'm missing a decent amount of the bits from there. I need these two plates here. And then I need probably have one of them here. Yes, I do. And a one by one white. Do I have one of those? Probably not, actually. Oh, I do. Good. Excellent. Well, that's helpful. If I have the parts, it's not as bad. Ooh. Things are beeping. I used to order figures from a UK company after Brexit. They quickly got a warehouse in Europe and a European shop. They don't have the selection in the UK, the same selection as the UK stores, but getting there. Is that um Fire Firestar Toys maybe? Because I saw they they've got quite cool custom things. Um 
yeah, this whole Brexit situation is a pain in the bum. Pretty annoying. But let's not get into that because we are here for Lego fun and not boring political stupid things that are happening in the world because all of us are probably using Lego to have some sort of control and escape the real world because let's be honest, it sucks sometimes. Um, at least, that's what I'm doing. Right, this is used two replacement parts, so not too bad at all, but I do need to add those to my Bricklink Wanted list so I can replace them and make sure it's complete. The other set that I've already built is complete, uh, which is why I'm building both, because obviously it's much easier to build them to make sure that they're complete. So now we're doing the really fun technique of adding the washing machine, which I really love. It's such, so adorable. So adorable. Yes, <laughs> Lego is my happy place. Lego is my safe, happy place where I get to control the city and build lots of pretty colourful things. Also, I love, I don't know if like any of you started like Lego in lockdown and just haven't had your friends and family see it, but there, it's so satisfying to have friends come over now because I get to show them the Lego and I just get to share how magical it is because it's honestly watching their faces when they walk into this room is just like so much fun because they're never really sure what to say but also like so far everybody has actually really loved it so it's made me really happy brick gosh I have a lot of missing bricks actually not the best didn't do a good job at sorting huh. hashtag low life <laughs> Can we talk about how cool the golden Harry Potter figures are? Yes, they are really cool. And they are 100% probably the reason that I'm going to actually have to get that deep to see, even though I'm not that interested in it because I will want the golden figures in it. They are so adorable. I haven't actually got the Hermione yet because I haven't got the fluffy set, nor the Coral because I haven't got the, um, what's it called? What's it called, guys? I haven't got the, Quidditch set yet. But I'm excited. They are looking adorable. Can't wait to see what figures are in the D2C, but I'm sure they're gonna be really good and they all want make me want it. But I, I'm not sure if I'm ready to spend £250 on a set that I may not necessarily actually want. <laughs> we'll have to see. Maybe it's gonna be absolutely fantastic and blow all our minds. Super thing happened. Two days of heavy rain. Limburg is being flooded. Then the water goes in the river, and then the rest of the Netherlands floods. Oh uh, yes, how's it been heavy rain? I oh actually, yeah, because I went to NOS Pentanel and saw how um, because I saw some pictures of Limburg and it looked really bad. And there was lots of bad jokes about it. But I think generally when it rains quite heavily, like it's mostly the fields that flood. Because I remember at Nijmegen, or like at Grave when I was going to school as a kid, we crossed the uh, the river in like, in winter and like in flood season, like there was always so much water there, but there was lots of fields that were like dedicated for it. Um, have you considered making a Lego themed podcast? It's far, far, too, oh, far too few to choose from compared to YouTube channels. I'd love more creators to adopt the medium. Um, I haven't really, um, consider it for myself like I feel like I probably come on if somebody invited me but it seems like a lot of I don't think I'm ready to coordinate like having guests on yet like that seems to be really time-consuming and as much as that would be really, really fun I just don't think I have that time to just donate to it but I'd love to be a guest on one I think that'd be really fun um, like discussing Lego is always really fun and there are some really good ones out there at the moment actually um, I, I can never remember like Kelly Bricks with like the Plastic Architect and Shy Time and Echo. Um, they have some really good guests and I actually really love listening to their podcasts. So I'd like, I'd recommend that one. But yeah, there's definitely obviously less than there are YouTube channels. But I feel like it's possibly the next trend within, um, it's possibly the next trend within, within Lego YouTube and Lego entertainment because it's only a matter of time before there's going to be quite a few more. Uh, where did uh, I put this here? No, I don't put that there. Where did I put that? 
Oh, maybe I did put it there. Right, I am actually nearly done with the top floor. I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll finish the top floor, so I'll get to bag three, and then I'll probably stop the stream. So there's just three more steps, because I've been streaming for so long, and I'm getting very, very warm, and it's bedtime, because I'm having to work from the office tomorrow, so I need to get up a bit earlier. I think I've already done a bit of a longer stream than I normally do. Though, to be fair, Ben's stream was nearly three hours long, because we had to finish forks. <laughs> Ugh. I'm waiting for the Forbidden Corridor to go on sale offer. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Brightest Witch Bricks. Um, I wasn't I wasn't willing to spend um, to spend the full price on it, so I was just waiting for it to go on offer as well. Also, it's like probably quite a good um, it's, a, it's a good like birthday present set. So uh, it's just on my birthday list right now. That's how that goes. That's what I'm afraid of at Brick Face. That's sorry, I didn't see. The Golden Murphy is the only reason I'm getting a chess set. Actually, honestly, personally, I think the chess set's really lovely. And the figures that come with it, not just the snake figure, but like the actual figures of, of the Golden Trio are just the most adorable. I've put them on a little stand so they're on my magnetic board, but they are so cute. I've mocked it, I've mocked the set itself slightly so there is um, jumper plates to actually hold the. Um, to hold the chest pieces in place because I kind of I was moving it quite a lot and I just felt like I needed it because the pieces were just going all over the place and this way I can align them really nicely but it is personally I think it's a really lovely set for sure there <laughs> uh, is the last one there actually I forgot to put this hundred pound coin um, working in Lego Digital Designer is my me time, taking part of the stream as my social time, and building my son is my happy family time. That's a perfect way of distributing it. I used to, I, when I was still looking for a job, so um, not really at the computer as much as I am now, I used to do quite a lot of mocking because I had more time, but also I wasn't forced to spend all my other time in front of a screen. But now I'm like in front of a screen for my work all the time. I'm finding a bit, I don't like it as much because I just feel like I spent 90% of my time behind the screen anyway. Like the last thing I wanna do when I finish work is like stare at a screen more. But I do really miss mocking. Like I, I it is really fun. <laughs> so um, yeah, creation is just really, it's really nice. So warm. I feel like if I sing a song about it, it'll probably get better. Um, do you have like the first Harry Potter castle? I don't have the. Well, so as I mentioned earlier, I have a really large amount of sets, like retired sets, at home, and I think one of them is the first Harry Potter castle. Definitely one of them is the is the Chamber of Secrets. But I have the 2004 one of the Prisoner of Azkaban. Love, love that. It's just fantastic. Really, really love that set. Um, sorry, I'm kind of like building as I go. Quickly. Is this correct? Does this look correct? Yes, this is correct. Hooray! It's correct. Ooh! Don't worry, that didn't rip. That just made a loud noise. But I did think it ripped for a minute there. So we, we all did, I think. That was really loud. Um, hmm. So the study thing here is a place. Interesting. Interesting. Um, love it. Mine's coming tomorrow. Purple Shroom got some of the sets from 2004, 2006. 2004, like that, like Harry Potter line of like the Prison of Azkaban is really strong, but also really nostalgic to me. But I have the um the clock tower set from that and i have the um hagrid's hut with the hermione with the timepiece uh, one as well and the and the cool purple dumbledore that came with the with the castle i haven't got the trelawney because i picked that's i was really lucky actually i picked that harry potter castle up for 50 pounds like use obviously um and the only thing that it was missing was trelawney and I, they actually said that in the listing that they didn't have that um, but it was just like, I think it was just a mum like selling her child's collection, like thing. 
um, and I was like, this is so lucky. <laughs> so I was very fortunate with that because I, only, I was getting that for nostalgia reasons, so it was really, really nice to pick that up for such a good price. Um, and it has, it still has pride of place because that's one of my, you know, very, very nostalgic ones. So it's, um, it's in my Calix unit, like slightly further down. You can't see it from where I'm sitting here, but I love it. Um, how did you get into Harry Potter? <sighs> I mean, I was from the generation where like Harry Potter was all around anyway, but, um, I think like, I'm just trying to remember, I must have been like six or so, seven, maybe a bit older, seven or eight, and I found the books, and like people were talking about it, and I read the first book, loved it, I was, I, I got everything from the library at the time, by the way, like we didn't buy them, but I got them from the library, absolutely loved it, and I just kind of like, I was a massive like bookworm anyway, I read lots of books as a kid, so it was just kind of perfect, but it was like magical, and about kids my age at the time, so that was obviously really appealing, and I just fell in love, so then I read all the books really quickly. And then I went through, I think my dad, I think the first movie was already out at the time, so my dad bought that for us to watch, which was really fun. I've just realised I'm missing some one by one pieces, because I put them into my city rather than into my spare pieces to use on this set. Should do every single time, nor should you Hannah. Let me just add those one moment. There we go. Sorry, I just had to break the city down to add these. But yeah, I think it was just like a thing, and then I had some classmates that were really into it, and we used to play like Harry Potter all the time, and I was always a miney, of course. Um, so yeah, I just became like a massive fan. I do remember like the first time I read through the series, I think only up until Harry Potter 5 was out. But um, Harry Potter 4 was constantly like lend out at the library so I couldn't read it. So I kind of was like really impatient and I just skipped to Harry Potter 5 and I thought it was really boring. But then I missed the whole traumatic events of the fourth book. So I feel like that's partially the reason I thought it was boring. Also at the time that I was reading Harry Potter 5 and where Harry is 15 and having very teenage troubles. I was like still a child so like I didn't quite relate to the Harry Potter teen problems yet. But um, I loved it. And then I became a massive fan. And I eventually was given the books as well. So I have all the like hardback Dutch editions as well. From when I was, I got my first book given to me when I was 11. But I had read them already by then. Um. If I start the collection, uh, to collect the pre-2018 sets, then I will want them all. And that could get very expensive, so I'm not going to. It's a very sensible book of Lego, like to be fair. Better protect yourself, to be honest. Um, I, I learned for myself now that I'm actually not a completionist, so that's kind of helping with all of this stuff. But, you know, there's always like that little voice in your head where like, you know, it would be nice to have a few more. But so far I've, I've been able to resist that most, mostly, mostly. Not all of the time, but. Sorry, I need one more of those one by one. Please? Please get another one by one. I'm just breaking down the city to get the bits that I need. But I think I haven't got the printed check piece yet, so that's on its way. So I actually think that is it for now. So this stays open because there's going to be like a chimney piece inserted here that you build in the next bag. And then, um, I know I know it's not perfect, but at least you can see it a little bit. Um, but here is the really beautiful brick bank. It's really nice in daylight when like if you're facing it like this way and like light is coming from here because like the light shines through like the um, stained glass windows and it looks so beautiful. Let me see if I can show you that actually. Let me, oh my gosh, uh, everybody's on the Discord. <laughs> Probably saying hi to the new members. So let me see if I can show you how pretty it is when it shines through. Uh, I don't think it's as, as good but... It's really nice. I love it so much. I love it so much. But yeah, I was a really slow builder. I'm so sorry, guys. That was uh, pathetic. But I had lots of fun chatting to you all. My um, my throat is feeling very, very dry. Purple Shroom says, Lego is very easy to be like, I need it all. Yes. I feel that about the Ninjago modulars. Very sad I haven't got the docks in a city. Honestly, 
I want that so much. I want that so much. I wish I'd picked it up when they were selling it new in box in the town next to me for like £300. Ugh. Pre Ninjago City Gardens life. Um, what other fantasy? Uh, what other fantasy series did you read? Um, Seven Gate Cycle, Feist books. I don't, I don't exactly know because obviously at the time everything I read is in Dutch, so I don't know what most of those were called in their native languages if they were translated. But there was, a, there was various. That was like another School of Magic book that I read when I was a little bit older. Um, I, I read a lot of Geronimo Stilton, which was really easy to read, but it was kind of fun because it was just about a, a, how, um, a mouse, but they were in fantasy. Um, gosh, like all the books I used to read are just falling out of my head now. I love the, um, the Artma here. So there's four books called The Earth Wizard, The Fire Wizard, The Water Wizard. Um, but instead, wizard is like a male word, like Mahir is kind of like, it could be like either gender. Um, I love that series so much. I actually own the first one at the moment. Um, and I think I told my sisters about it and they've read it as well. I, I really like that series. I've re tried rereading it now as an adult and it definitely isn't as um, high standing literature as I remember it being. <laughs> But I really loved that as a child. There was loads of books. I've read so much, so it's hard to remember. And also most of them that, that I read were in Dutch, so um, not necessarily known. Um, I think your friends' faces when they see... <laughs> I think your friends' faces when they see your Lego is not the same as my friends' faces when they see mine. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you just have... Like, I haven't... Not that many people have seen it, and it was mostly, like, um, like some really close friends, but yeah. They thought it was amazing. Um, Harry was my dad's name, so that was always that always makes me smile. <laughs> it's funny to find out what they were called in different languages, because obviously Harry Potter I read in Dutch for the first time, so it wasn't Hermione, it was Hermeline, and it wasn't Professor Dumbledore, it was Professor Pergamentus, and um, it wasn't Minerva McGonagall, it was uh, Minerva Anderling. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there was lots of different words, which is really funny. And like now, as I speak both languages, I can really appreciate like the translations of them because it's like really hard to translate fantasy names when they have sort of like a double meaning or like convey a certain feeling. So um, it's yeah, it's been well translated, I think. Um, remember the piece on the floor? Yes, thanks, ODJ. That's thank you so much. <laughs> I will pick that up in a minute. Um, Abby says I need to join the Discord. Yes, please. I think there should be a link in like on the membership page, and also when you click join, there should be there should be a link somewhere. I've added it in to the perks, but um, shout me on Instagram if you can't find it. I'll help out. Um, Brick and Brick said I deconstructed the Big Bang for a friend, which is nearly as good um, as building it, and that's it's a beautiful set. It is a really beautiful set, actually though. I really need to not tell you this now because I should do it in a review, but the interiors aren't as fantastic as I was hoping, to be honest. They aren't like, they don't blow me away as much, but the exterior remains really, really good, so. I'm very lucky that I've got it. <laughs> um, Simon says, there's rumors of another Ninjago module next year. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's very exciting to me, but um, it's up, it sounds like it's gonna be like half the size of like Ninjago City, which is Ninjago City Gardens, which is good. But um, more modulars, excellent, because I love the Ninjago ones so much. And if I ever were like able to have the other ones, the retired ones, then I could just have a whole Ninjago like quarter at the top of my city, and it would be the best ever. But I am unwilling to spend six hundred pounds on Ninjago City because that's just uh, an amount of money that literally makes me so scared. <laughs> Um, remember when book five and six came out, I was walking in front of the bookshop at two minutes past midnight to get them and then her and then went home and read about aloud to my wife because we each of them couldn't wait. Oh my god, that's the most amazing thing. Um I only remember when like book seven came out, like consciously, um, because I think I was old enough. I think I was twelve at the time. Maybe older? Maybe thirteen. I don't know. I was like not very old. But it was, I think, a twelve or thirteen at the time when it came out. So um, I remember it was happening, and my mum didn't let me go to the midnight premiere because of midnight release because I was going on like camp the day after, and but she allowed me to pick it up in the morning before we went to camp. So I went to the bookshop at like nine when it opened, and I picked it up, and I was so excited. 
but then I went on camp and I couldn't read it until after that week and oh my god you have no idea oh my god it was so awful <laughs> so I was late to the party but I, it was the most religious experience of my life funnily enough because the camp I went to was a religious camp um but yeah, so actually when I came back I read Harry Potter and that was way more, way more profound. It was just like, so exciting. Um, remember when book five and six came out? Ooh, yeah, I just read that. My friends' faces definitely aren't the same when they see my Lego. It's nice to have some people, close friends who appreciate it. I think most of the people are just like really open-minded and are a bit like, you are crazy, but I love it, sort of thing. It's like when you visit like a model village. Anyway, um, I feel my voice going, so I'm gonna probably like, end it here. Thank you so very much for joining me on the live stream. I love chatting to you all. It makes my day. If you are a new member, come join the Discord. Don't forget. Um, love to chat to you all there. And I really like doing, seeing what people are buying and just having a little chat generally. I um, hope you all have a really fantastic rest of your day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are. And I will have a video coming out tomorrow at 5.30 UK time about another really bad purchase I did because I seem to not be able to control myself, but I'm super excited about it. So check that out tomorrow and I'll be live again next week. That's the end of my self promo, but thank you so much for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate you all. I'm gonna, I was thinking about starting my videos going forward with like, hello, fellow Lego addicts, because I like saying that because I feel like that's kind of <laughs> the vibe for giving up. But anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye! How do? Do 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 do.